And one, two. And one, two, three, four. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, two, 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 eight,
Oh my goodness. How is everybody though? It is Friday. We are here. Um, we have a bit of a relaxed recipe today, to be honest. Like I, listen, I'm gonna be real with you. I'm not making pastry from scratch. I don't care. I just, I don't want to do it. I want to make a pie, but I'm not, I don't, I'm, I don't want to make pastry from scratch. I would rather not. Careful, hello, and happy 5 a.m. to you. Pickheads, thank you for the, the bits there. Michael Fiber. Hello, I'm Michael Fiber, and you may be entitled to a Michael Fiber cloth. Thank you for the bits, you're very kind. Very kind. Sailor Face says it's a small thing, but I got my hobby hyped up about playing a co-op game with me. He doesn't usually play games with me, so I'm excited. Oh, that's so nice. I'll be having a lovely time. I'll be having a very, very nice time. Very, very good time. Um, Flying Gazelle says there's too much snow, so I haven't left the house in a week. I'm down to three weeks of food left. Oh, no. I'm glad you're stocked up, at least. And I I wish you a very don't run out of food. Mojo has good news. I'm leaving for the airport in about an hour to start my weekend trip. Enjoy. Have a nice time. Have a very, very nice time. Aiden Zabel, hello. Hello. Bluish says too late. Snacking on micro macro plastics now. If you're sna snacking on a macro plastic, that means you just pick up, like, Oh, don't do that. Your dentist will not be happy with you. And nobody's dentist is ever happy with them. So you can imagine the knock-on effect of that. So, lads, I have to ask you something. I don't remember the last time I got to ask you this so early in the day. Who would like a cup of tea? Hands up, hands up, hands up. I'm gonna boil up the kettle. I have had just one cup of tea this morning. I've been awake since, um, yeah, so. I've been awake since half past five. It's currently quarter past one in the afternoon. But I'm doing my best, you know? We're, 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 we're making the most of it. We're vibing, you know? We're, we're going uns and uns. And in fact, we may even go uns a third time. It could happen. All right, cup of tea, 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 nice cup of tea, big cup of tea. Boom, which is good news. I finally decided on my dream fashion to decide where sweet little Oh, very good. If you listen, if you need any pointers, always feel free to post over in Fashion Cosmetics over in the Discord. I will not steer you wrong, and many other people in there will also not steer you wrong. Delighted for you, exciting. Now then, that's it, you get, you get your thing to stare at and plan around, it's great. Kesla, hello, how are you doing? Chewy Fist says, <laughs> just, just don't have a teeth, doctor. Please have a teeth, doctor. Please. And the soul says, milk, two sugars. How does everyone take their tea? Go on. And if you don't drink tea, just make something up. Just keep it going, make something up. Heart fine, hello. Hello, how are you doing? Hello, hello, hello. <laughs> I'm so full of microplastics, yum. Why was that? Uh, no, that was, it was the Chunky Spyro mod with that like, tch, tch. that was it. All right, Patchy wants their tea orally. 10 sugars, all black, one sugar, one milk, milk, oat or cow. Um, milk too is sugared. I drink my tea as coffee. Miku, hello, how are you doing? Monster energy tea, no. Three radish. All right, listen, I'll see if I have any radishes hanging around, but in the tea. Don't remember the last time I ate a radish. Hey, Google. Set a four minute timer. See, the thing with them is like, there's lots of um, there's lots of vegetables that are like really really tasty and they're also really really cool. But those like they're they're only rad ish. You know, I expected to get way more tomatoes thrown at me. <laughs> way, way more tomatoes. I'm, do I'm doing very well here. Um, Zarka says, mug upside down the counter, then tea, then milk, then water, then tea, then water, then tea, then the whole thing out the window. Sounds perfect. I'll see what I can do for you, all right? First, I eat the entire tea bag. Then I chug some milk, then pour some boiling water down my thro throat. It's like... The Do you think anyone's ever tried to make instant noodles in a kettle? Like inside the kettle, like an electric kettle, like inside the electric kettle with water. 
and then tried to pour the noodles out the spout. Surely, surely someone has done that. Don't do that. that. I'm not giving you ideas here. This isn't a recommendation. Don't do this. Don't do that. Ray Fish, hello. Uh, people have done that. Yes, source. I was there. I want the story, but I'm sure the story is just, oh, we thought it'd be funny to try and make noodles in the toaster. Not toaster! Not the toaster! God, the toaster's on the brain. Um, kettle, that's the one. <laughs> Atari VG says, hey, Cake, what do you call a Greek tailor? Go on, hit me. Go on, hit me. Please don't make noodles in a toaster. God, it's like the story I heard of, um, apparently real story of a, a lad, a, a, a gentleman from my hometown who tried to cook lamb chops in an upright toaster. And you know how much fat comes off lamb chops. It did go up in fire. He was fine, the house was fine, um, the toaster was not fine. The lamb chops were seared, I'm sure. <laughs> oh, goodness. I'm ready to making ramen in the coffee maker. Why would you do that? What, could you just like, could you? Stay with me. You don't have to stay with me, but I'd really appreciate if you stayed with me for just a moment. I really hope that me moving this capture card doesn't stop it working. Okay, everything's fine. Okay, here's the idea, all right? You get a pack of instant noodles, right? Now the dry ones, they're instant. We're all on the same page here, right? You get your instant noodles, you open the pack, you get the noodles, you get the, raw, the, the, the raw hard block of noodles, you put them in here, you grind them up, all right? And then you add water and you start grinding them into a paste like a really, really good fine paste. And then you reconstitute them and make different shaped noodles out of them. And then you instantly stop and realize you've wasted so much of your life. Where is this going? Bold of you to think that I think this is going anywhere. But um, do you know what that actually reminds me of? You know the don't forget the olive video? <laughs> I don't want to put this back up where it was. I'm putting it here and I'm just gonna hope I don't knock it onto my foot because that will break my foot and I will have to leave to go to hospital, so. <laughs> Chippich says, are you making noodles out of noodles? You could make noodles out of noodles, it's true. It's going in the kettle. You know what, you could, you just make new noodles out of the, the noodle mixture and then you put the noodles in the kettle to boil them and cook them and then you pour, you pour it out the spout of the kettle into your lovely little bowl. Yeah, instant noodles the long way. The very long way, mind you. Do you know, I nearly bought... Ow, that's, that was... I'm in tremendous pain, that was very hot. I don't know why I did that. I nearly bought a tin of spaghetti hoops today, and I don't know why. Do you know when something like, they're 35 delicious cents for a tin. There is very little nutritional value, but you know when you're looking at something, you're like, that's going to be awful. I've had these. I know they're not that great, but I kind of want them, and I don't know why, you know? Do you ever get a craving for something like that? For food that is, by all technical things, not good, and you don't even think they're good, but you're like, I want it. I want it, you know? Rayfish says, if you make patties out of the noodle paste, you can put them in the toaster. No, no, because now we come back full circle to the toaster. If you put... You know what, I actually give up. I give up, I'm not doing this. Um, Miko says, dry out your tomato sauce, cut it into strings, cook those strings, maybe not with water, use the noodle sauce to get tomato noodles with noodle sauce. Mmm. Ah. Ooh, Abby Stabby, I saw that. I saw that you, I saw that. I thought, let me tell you some important things, come here. This evening, this evening, there is a new YouTube video. Now you may be thinking to yourself, oh, happy day, Cake, we haven't had a new YouTube video since Christmas Eve. Ah, tonight is the night. And it's gonna be another long video. It's gonna be like, it's 20 odd minutes long. Um, Chloe has done another amazing job. No surprise to anyone, she's excellent. Um, it is part two of Cheese Quest. Part two. This evening, 6 p.m., so what, like, in a while. Like, four and a half hours time, so. Um, if you're not already subscribed over on YouTube, I would appreciate it very much, exclamation mark, YouTube. That's it, that's it. 
That's it. That's, that's all I have for you. Um, I'm gonna try to get the YouTube uploads a little more regular as well. So, Kerry. Oh, Frogs Day. Kalula Kale. K Green. Hello. How are you doing? Hello. 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 The clock. Ch that wasn't supposed to. I didn't change that. I didn't. I didn't change this. What the, what is that? Are those oven mitts? I hang on a second. I never changed that. I've hang on. To BTTV. To BTTV. BV. Ye. It's still the Wii clap on my end in, in BTTV. That's really strange. I... That's so strange. Gorilla Gamer, hello and welcome in. How are you doing? It looks it looks like oven mitts. It looks like someone's wearing oven mitts going... That's really strange. I was thinking, like, there shouldn't be any other service overriding it. I mean, I don't have... It. I only have BTTV, so... Who? Exactly. Whose hands are those? Hang on. Let's check the other BTTV emotes, if, if you can. Uh, 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 I'm trying to remember any of them. Ah, OBS has done that incredible thing. That really, really incredible thing where it updates and then everything breaks. I swear to God, OBS updates like twice a week and every single time something gets weird. Like they never actually seem to fix anything that gets weird either, so. Do, 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 do. Very weird. Very, very weird. Well, sure, look, we just have to pog through the pain and use the built in Twitch emotes, I suppose. It's an awful way to be. That's an awful, awful way to be. Awful way to be. Now, come here, would you like a sip of tea? Come here, come here. Sip of tea, sip of tea. Come here. Sip of tea. Look, it's even in. I put it in the shark mug for you. Look. Now. Now, is that to everybody's liking? Will that keep you going for now? Because if it doesn't, I don't know what to do with you, lads. I don't know. Ah, just as yourself. Hello, Irish Panda Queen. How are you doing? Come in. Come in. Oh, goodness. I keep thinking of things and keep forgetting to say them. I don't know why that's happening. My brain is just all over the place. I should probably start bringing vegetables and stuff over onto the table. Um, I have everything over on the kitchen table, which is no good to us. No good to us. Um, I am going off recipe a little bit. And by off recipe, I mean I'm just adding extra vegetables because, because I can. Carrots. I'm putting in broccoli. There's no broccoli in the recipe, but listen. It was being sold off for 60 cents and I really like broccoli. I also got a leek so that I can do this. We have a leak. Yeah. All right, now have we got all of our system? Because that was going to come up, so leak. Leak, 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 leak. 
cake, put the leak in the sink for the funny. No, I can't afford to get that fixed. Oh, not today. Mulk! Don't worry about it, how are you doing? And Le Bears, hello, I'll inform the security department. There's been a leak. Um, Kim Murray Candace says, my stream rewinded randomly to when you went to grab the leak, so it was just, I can do this, disappears. Hey lads, look what I can do! All right, all right, I'm back, I'm back. Did you like that trick? I'll do it again if you want. Oh. What? Wait, wait, wait. Keffel says, when the lads and I were drunk, we beat each other with a frozen leak. Who out here beating each other up with a frozen leak? Oh, God. Oh dear, I need some tea. I need some tea. Ha. Oh lads. What a day. What a day. God for God for the lads of hobbies. Jeez. Everyone has earned the right to beat someone up with a leak. Please don't beat someone up with a leak. Unless they unless they're completely okay with beating up be, being beaten be, 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 being beaten up with a leak. Anyone here like leeks? I think leeks are great. I just thought it would be really nice in the pie. I thought it'd be nice in the sauce. Um, I'm going to have to wash all of these vegetables. So don't worry, I did throw that directly onto the floor, but it is getting washed and we're probably not using the outermost layer anyway. So, you know. Leek and potato soup, oh, it's so good. So, so good, like so delicious, so nutritious, so creamy. I'm gonna beat up a director right now with a leek for being a creep. Oh, that's fine, yes. Um, in fact, does anyone have any spare leeks to give Atari VG? Go on, go on. <laughs> Floor leak, delicious. Full of roughage. Um, I got the celery. Uh, admittedly, I didn't deliberately go, look, go, uh, go looking for it reduced. It just happened to be the first bag of celery I saw. And it's getting used today, so it's fine. Leaks are one of my favorite veggies. Correct. Correct opinion. Uh, but I can go there for now. Um, I only know the English word from Stardew, and it looks more like a turnip, so I was confused at first. Wait. Oh, there it looks like a turnip. That's fair. That's fair. It, it does look a bit... And this is completely fine. There's plenty of life in this. Confessions as many moms. I've never tasted a leek. Nothing I've ever eaten has come with leek in it. I'm not much for cooking. If you ever get the chance, I recommend it. It's nice in pie. It's nice in um, pie. It's nice in soup. It's not very expensive either. You get a good... And now, mind you, it does cook down, but it's grand. It's got a nice... Uh, it's got an almost like oniony flavor, but I just like the taste of the little leek bits. Now we are putting some onion in here. We're not gonna put in quite as much just because the leek is there and it's gonna get very powerful altogether, you know? Leek and stew, so good. The 10th how are you doing? Come in, come in, come in, come in. Um, reduce, reuse a kiki, exactly. Look at these carrots. Powerful carrots. Yeah, it's like a milder onion and it's, I don't know, it's it's good, I like it. Never so low, how are you doing? Flies and Gazelle says, my main problem with leek is that there's too much leek in one leek. I can't eat all the leek. Well, see, what you do is you cut the leek up and you use a bit now and a bit later. Or you make one big batch of your food and freeze some. Listen, lads, I cannot tell you how good it is to just be able to freeze food. Um, if you Now, pastry doesn't freeze very well at all. In fact, I you can freeze pastry. It's like if it's already... Sorry, I'm losing all of my words today. They're just going out, this, they're just leaking out of my ears. Um, if you've already cooked the pastry and it's like nice and crunchy, you can freeze it, but it won't be as nice when you defrost it, you know. But if it's, if it's pre-rolled and it hasn't been used, you can probably freeze it and defrost it. The only problem is it can get weird shape if you don't let it defrost properly, so. I am using pre-rolled. I don't care. Hurl your tomatoes at me, I don't care. Um, I just don't wanna. Oh, leaking. I didn't even think of that. <laughs> I didn't even think of that at all. Um, Lieutenant Search isn't good. Work until Sunday, but my wedding won't pay for itself. Oh, Lieutenant Search, I hope you get a bit of a break soon. Can we get a big wave for everybody working the weekend? Working the weekend. All right, so these are our vegetables. We have chicken going in here as well. And I went for... 
what did I go for? That's a good question. I went for the mini fillets because to be honest, they're very cheap for the amount of food you get in there. Um, it's maybe not the fanciest cut of meat, but for something like this where you're throwing it in with a load of other flavors and a sauce and all that, it's going to be completely fine. Like it's going to be completely, completely, completely fine. And it's the cheapest tray of meat you can get in the supermarket. I could have gone to the butcher, but I'm actually, I'm not acquainted with the but where the butcher's is here yet. So Julian, hello, how are you doing? Come in, come in, come in. If you would like the recipe, exclamation mark, a recipe, and you can get that for your good self. I feel like everything is a bit too spread out on the table today. Oh, but I want to take a few minutes because I'm actually here on time. It's only half past one. It's only half past one. It's not even a million, a million hours into the evening, you know? Was driving when you were doing the leak dance for a nostalgic vibe. It's a banger. Listen, a banger tune. I am, I am a Miku stan forever. Oh, very important thing, lads. Drum roll, if you will. Today we have... Stove camp! Bam, 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 bam. I remember to set it up, so because a lot of the time today will be me over here going, ooh, look at the sauce, so, so sauce, you know? So, huge thing, huge moves today, that's huge moves. Um, so that'll be nice, that's nice. I like having that, I like having it. Stove can, stove can, stove can. Oh, um, no, it's gone, it's gone. I'll remember soon, I'm sure. That's a good cup of tea. That's all right, you know, it's all right, it's all right, it's all right. Stoven King. <laughs> Stoven King. Oh. We will have to replace that, the hobs though. We will have to replace them. And I, I'm not sad about it because it means we get working hobs. It's just, it's effort, you know? And never since I showed the Arby's YouTube poop to someone yesterday since you reminded me, oh my God, what do they think? I'm always so, so curious to know what people think if they see a YouTube poop for the first time, you know? And Righteous Nigel just says, Confession, I woke up half an hour before the stream started. My, I'm convinced my body woke itself up to make it to the stream. But you're awake, and that's what matters. You got here. Doomed Len, hello, how are you doing? So much, Schmitz. B Tree Beetle says, I saw the blue liquid earlier. I decided I required the, the aid of Gator. Aww. Sometimes you just need a little sippy stuff to get you going. Exclamation mark GG if you would like a sippy stuff to keep you going. Oh, listen to that, listen to that, listen to that. Just a little sippy stuff. Um... Oh, yes, yes, that's the thing that keeps newing through my brain. I keep not being able to catch it to say it to you. There is a sub goal on going. I'm only going to say this now and then. Um, if we hit our goal of 800 subs, I will prepare and deliver to you live on stream a beginner's Irish language les le lesson. Say that 10 times fast. Beginner's Irish language lesson. That's the plan. That's the plan. And I will give you homework as well. It's okay, you won't get in trouble if you don't do your homework. Well, I'll give you recommended homework. <laughs> recommended reading, if you will, so. Just throwing that, ooh, yeah, get, can we get an ooh? I think it'll be a bit of fun, and it's something I've talked about doing before, so it'll be a bit, Carter Rashi, jeez, you don't miss a trick. <laughs> Carter Rashi, thank you for gifting a sub to Luna Lurks, and never thank you for gifting a sub to Bee Tree Beetle. There's no pressure about it, like, it's, it's an ongoing, goals if we don't hit it this month that's fine we, like it'll still be there it's not like uh we have to hit it by the 30 30 days that's the time, uh, 31st or it's all over you know but thank you so much you're very kind beginner irish language lesson bill 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 nigh the language guy <laughs> claire's despair is recommended reading i remember watching claire's despair oh do you know i think it was a short story that got made into a short film that makes sense that makes sense can we watch cock and millish yes we can do a watch along do you know what we can do we can do a, a follow on of the lesson in discord if we have like a lot of watching to do because otherwise i'm going to feel like i'm turning the lesson into being a react andy for four hours <laughs> Bill Nye, the Irish guy. Wait a sec. Uh, hey, hang on a minute. Oh, that's... Oh, there's a blackbird outside. I wish I could set up a a camera for the outside birds, except I don't want to dox myself, so... I'll just try and get a picture of them sometime. They're very, they're very cute. Oh, they're so... Oh, they're little birds. Do you know what they are? They're feckin' birds. They're so cute. <laughs> Next year, blackbird cam. There's so many of them out there. We get loads of blackbirds, loads of robins, but we've been getting... I saw seagulls for the first time in so, so long. And they were... Fe it, they were that size. They're so cute. They're very cute. I wish more books were available at Oscar Do you know what you can get off And I haven't had the chance to get my hands on it myself. The Hobbit is in Irish. And I have I have it on good authority that it is a good translation of The Hobbit. Um, it's called On Hobbit. Um, you can order it from... On Shuppa Lauer. 
um, what you call, yeah, it's on Chupa Lauer. You can look them up. I can put a link in Discord. If someone, someone will have to remind me now, mind you. And um, set up a green screen around your house. <laughs> you know what? Not the, imagine like the birds showing up to eat their food and there's just green screens everywhere. And they're like, Oh, what if we end up finding out the birds can't see massive sheets of green and all the birds keep crashing into the green screen? <laughs> oh, goodness. Uh, let's not do that. I don't want to hurt any birds. Also, um, I do need to say a thing about doing things and going places. I'm going to be, I'm going to, I'm not going to say when because I'm going to be there with friends. We're going to be chill. But if you say, if you do see me, say hello. I'm going to be at Megacon in Dublin tomorrow. I will try to remember to take some photos and stuff. Um, I'm gonna be hanging out with friends, so I, if you don't see me, don't worry. Don't go running around looking for me. I might not be there. We might have locked for food. But um, they were very kind to give me a creator ticket. So I'm gonna be there, and it's gonna be fun. I do like the, the hustle and bustle of a convention, so. I did make that wish, what was it, last January? I was like, I really hope I can go to loads of conventions this year. And now it's been like every second month. I'm like, ooh. ooh. <laughs> but it's fun, it's so much fun. I really, really enjoy it. But yeah, be good fun, good fun. Um, stream idea, Gert, how are you doing? Put a green screen right inside your window and stream it pretending it's your actual garden. And have it like, you know the hill in the Teletubbies? <laughs> that's it, just the hill in the Teletubbies, that's it. All right. Brain freeze, love the bird. Wait, what, did I do a bird impression? Have I already forgotten? Turn it sun baby. Every time I think of the sun baby, I still think of the person who tried to pretend, who straight lied to us. Lied to us that they were the sun baby. Um, lied. Lied. My other one's going tomorrow. That's so cool. Enjoy yourselves. Will indeed. We'll have a great time. Uh, reminder for anyone going to conventions, don't buy, don't buy, don't buy anime figures at conventions. Don't buy anime figures from vendors at conventions. Take pictures of the things you like, look them up online and realize that they're actually tripling the price of the convention. Um, do buy things from the artists though, because most of those you will probably only get in, in um, conventions. Arctic Apollo, ah, thank you so much for your prime. You're very kind. And thank you very, very much. You're three good, three, three good. Um, if you do the Teletubbies as Gardner actually, um, oh, the Teletubbies Hill, you'll have to make Tubby cost your I need to write something down. I need to write something down. Ow. I just felt the need to slap myself in the leg with that first because you know, you have to make sure it works. Where is there even to buy figures in Ireland anymore? And Forbidden Planet sometimes stocks them. You're better off getting them online because a lot of places are super, super, super overpriced. And sure, look, it's just like that sometimes. Tubby <laughs> dust. All right. Uh. All right, I have written that in the floweriest, floweriest handwriting I've ever written on stream. And I'm not telling you what it is until I do it. No. The way of those veggies I does, it's still, it's, it does look like a, a painting. Look at that. Does anyone want to paint the vegetables? Just have a little, ah, oh, just have a little, ooh, have a little paint of the vegetables. Oh, Arctic Apollo, not oh, typical enough, but welcome in and thank you all the same. How are you doing? Come on in. It's a soup opera. Oh, good. Evelyn to Winter, hello. Hello, hello, hello. All right, let me ask you something. Let me ask you something. What are you asking me? What's your favorite pie? My favorite pie? Favorite savory pie. Savory sweet boats. Savory. Um. Chicken and ham is up there with leek, like what you're making pretty much is up there. Uh, this veggie choice looks pretty good. Nice, nice. Uh, I'm a big fan of a steak and kidney pie or a steak and gravy pie in general. Uh, yeah. Anything that you would find in like either a Cornish pasty or like a Yorkshire like pub pie, that's my favorite kind of pie. I love a good hearty savory pie, you know? Correct. All of those choices are correct. I like sweet pies as well, like apple pies and that kind of stuff, but for the, like, it's weird because I'm a real, like, sweets enjoyer, but I'm also a real, like, savory, savory bitch. foods enjoyer, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Hell yeah. I go out and do a little bit with the bike if 
this is loud enough that you can hear it in here, let me know and I'll leave it for another okay. day, okay? Have fun. Bye, don't die. Bye. All right, what about G? You okay? You are right over there. Yeah, sorry, cracking the place. That's okay. No, that's fine. That's fine. What about all of ye? What is your favorite pie? <laughs> they used to call no. me Saber Bitch back in college. <laughs> and Governor says, What are your thoughts on meat pie sold by dubious pie saleswomen who live beneath creepy barbers? Um, depends on who they're putting in the pies. Ah, oh, he's fine, don't worry, he just knocked over a basket, that's fine. There was nothing in it. Mogogi, hello! Congratulations on your first week of work! Beep, 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 beep. All right, our answers are pie pie, scotch pie, shepherd's pie. Yeah, it is a pie, it's potatoes. There's potato on the top, but like it's it's pie. Um, savory pie is just so good. Blackberry and apple pie. I want to make a blackberry apple pie sometime before it starts getting too warm to fully enjoy. Like you can have a nice hot baked pie in the summer, but you appreciate it more in the cold. You know that way. Like you appreciate a, an apple pie so much more when it's cold. And Bugugi says I like a good black pepper and steak pie. Oh, I do kind of miss just eating steak pie and stuff willy-nilly i just I, I can't do the risk with beef anymore unless like i, I just i just can't do it. it's not worth it. third head says i have a friend whose husband dislikes all pie all pie every pie doesn't like any pie sure look at i mean look at has he tried them all? You have to check. He has to check. He's tried them all. <laughs> oh, because apparently Toby Custard is made with mashed potato covered with acrylic paint. Yeah, I'd believe that. I'd, I'd fully believe that. Pie is a category. See, yeah, that's the thing. Like, that's like saying, oh, I don't like sandwich. Unless maybe you don't like bread, which, fair enough. But if you don't like bread, I have a lot of questions for you. You know? Irish Panda Queen says, one of my customers used to make apple pie with vanilla chai tea bags. I'm dying to know if anyone else has tried it. I've heard of people doing that. I'd like to try a, a slightly funkier apple pie sometime because I play my apple pies fairly safe. I got a good recipe, comes out good most of the time. That's it, that's it. I haven't gone too far out of that, but you know, you know. Oh, you see, now I want, now I want a blackberry and apple pie. Pick at Pickles, hello, a friend's sister had a huge multi-tiered Melton Mowbray pie. Oh, instead of a wedding cake, it was a glorious thing of nauseating beauty. That's like a pork pie, isn't it? Oh my God. I haven't had a pork pie in so long. Oh, I should try making a pork pie. I really, really, really like pork pies. I always forget how good they are until I have them again. Thread says we made combo punk pumpkin baklava pie over the holidays. Oh my God, that's such a good. So good. Uh, with some people, it's not so much about not liking bread as is bread not liking them. That's a good point. That's a good point. Um, celiac disease is a is a little shite of a thing, really. Um, Melton Mowbray are the o they are the OG pork pies. They're the good ones. The good ones. The good ones. Mm -hmm. We could start preparing some stuff. I guess we could start to do things. I suppose we could, in fact, consider doing some bits and bobs. Probably. Maybe. Perhaps. Ah, I'm getting a chopping board. Yeah. Now I say, surely this recipe will not take very long today. However, it also might take long today because I did do something wrong. The last time I did a pie like this on stream, I did not make the filling thick enough. Now, I think because I'm putting more filling in, I might get away with it a bit this time. But last time I was, I just, I don't know. I, don't know, I just messed it up, you know? It was still delicious, it, but like when you, when you cut a bit off, it just, it just melted. Well, I literally didn't hear it. Perfect, thanks. Hooray! Bye! Turned out the tires were very flat, which would explain why the bike is such a good move around. That'll do it, that'll do it. There he goes. Coffee, hello, I just made a chicken pot pie last night. Looking forward to seeing how you make yours. Ooh, mine's not fancy. I just, I follow a fairly simple recipe. Exclamation mark recipe, if you'd like it. Um, I'm not making the pastry from scratch because I just, I can't be arsed, I'm gonna be honest. I'm, just like, I, I'm not doing that. I'm, not, I'm just not doing it. I'm just not doing it, not today. I could, but that would probably add 
a lot of time and a lot of suffering to the process, you know? Dude called Leo, hello, and casual Nept Gaming. Hello. I feel like I missed someone, but I'll catch you in a minute. I'll catch you in a minute. Yeah. Yeah. How much pot is in the pie? Mean Mug Dog, there is um, about that much. Nobody makes their own puff pastry, even rough puff is mass. It's just, it's such a pain. Like, it's, I like the experience of maybe trying to practice, but I feel like there's been times where I've done everything perfect with puff pastry, and it just doesn't do it. Like, it's like my hands can't stay cold enough to handle it, do you know? I just can't do it, and I'd like to be able to, but I just, it's so cheap to buy, it's so cheap. Jam, hello, are you doing? I once made puff pastry, never again, never again. Um, Coffee says I used the Joshua Weissman recipe. Ooh, very nice. I'm using the recipe linked. Now, I am adding some extra bits in because I just wanted some extra bits and bobs. Do you know the way you'd be? And I would like to present to you... We got a new peeler. 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 Uh, so I'm going to maybe take that out of the packet. We literally only have this since yesterday, so it has not been used yet. So I hope it's good. I... I remember we had a peeler once and it was comically bad like it would just kind of like rip in sideways into the vegetables and they just they just wouldn't be peeled it would just kind of take chunks out of them where's the scissors is there a single person here who can ever keep track of the scissors in their house i feel like i'm going mad constantly like, we have multiple, multiple pairs of scissors, and they're just gone. Gone. They could be anywhere. Oh, <gasps> is that? Hallelujah. Got it. Found a scissors. Can never, never find them. I don't know what it is. Like, I think I could honestly get a pair of scissors that's like... It has its own built-in lights, and the lights start going wee-wah, 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 if it's out of the drawer for more than five minutes, and I would still lose them. Our scissors go into the knife block. That is, that's living. That's the way to do it. Like, I'm not joking. That's so much easier. Oh, wait, 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 lads, 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 lads. Come here, come here, come here. Do you want the peel? The peel of the peeler. Let me get the, let me get the edge of it. Let me get the, let me get the bit, the bit, the bit. That was kind of underwhelming, I'm sorry. I really tried. That was very underwhelming. <laughs> but sure, look, you can only try. That just sounded like absolutely nothing. Come here, lads, I have to ask you. What's everybody making for themselves today? Mm -hmm. Um, Kalo Fantrax, hello, how are you doing? Come in, come in, come in, come in. Is anybody making or baking anything nice? Or maybe even just going to have some nice food, you know? Uh, we got the lowercase peel on that one, fellas, as is life. It happens sometimes. It happens. I'm gonna do the carrots first because they're the biggest- Jesus, there's a rock in this. <laughs> I'm not joking, there's, there's an actual stone. I feel like this is a really poorly exaggerated skincare ad. Um, Nick's a spicy maple crunch chicken tonight. Stop. Oh my god, that sounds so good. Who wants the rock? Here, I, here, cat, I'm gonna catch. Scamming me on the way. Beck and Tesco as always. Um, no other rocks. I'll just give these a little rinse. Uh, what else? We ooh. Pesto pasta with fancy pesto. Oh, what kind of pesto? Is it red pesto, green pesto? A secret purred pesto. Or I must know. I'm actually just going to slightly dry these carrots so that I can peel them without splashing the entire the entire house. Oh, fresh green pesto. Oh, I didn't used to like green pesto, but a good green pesto is beautiful. It's beautiful. It's so, so nice. Like, really, really, it's so, so nice. Bonus minerals. Uh, Dan Pigeon says my mum is making marmalade. Now, the house smells amazing. I'm so, I'm so jealous. That sounds so good. I've never made marmalade. I've made jam. 
I'm sorry, Sharon. I made jam once, one time, and you know what? It was pretty good. It was pretty good. I'm gonna just... Please be good. Cross your fingers. Kate, do you see the Tesco has a Spotify wrapped thing? Check your club card app. Is it what? Actually, I don't have the club card app. Does it just tell you what you bought? Fothu, I would recommend against it. Not today. Maybe not tomorrow either. Because the cleanup will. The cleanup will take a while. But the memories will last forever. Carm, hello and thank you for 13 months. Get a clap, where are you crazy? I got three or all vodka last week. No, I, ha I have one, but I don't have the app. Um, I don't have it on my phone. I just. I was nursed. We have this. We use the same club card in the house, so I just haven't been nursed on the app. And Karen, thank you so much. How are you doing? Come in, come in, come in. It tells you unique your meal deal of choices and how many of your top item you book. Unique meal deal. Hang on, is McDar still outside? Hey McDara, did you know that the Tesco uh, Club Card app has a wrap to like Spotify and you can see how unique and cool your meal deal is? I want to see how cool and unique your meal deal is. I want to see. We will find out. Sorry, I didn't mean to lock you out. I accused him of having a, an interesting meal deal and then I accidentally locked him out of the house. <laughs> Oopsie. What's everyone's ideal meal deal? If you don't know what if you don't know what's on the meal deal, just, just make something up. Chicken pot pies, which of this third cousins did Dave kill this time? Oh no, Dave's not responsible for this one. This is um Dave, you weren't supposed to tell them. Like, come on, what am I supposed to say now? This is awkward. Leo Delon, thank you for 16 months. Hello, hello, hello. Did I turn the volume down on the laptop? I can see if I can't hear anything. I didn't. Okay, everything's just very quiet. Can't go wrong with BLT and prawn cocktail crisps. Oh, I haven't had prawn cocktail crisps in ages. Do Tato still do prawn cocktails? Or did I imagine that? Barbecue slaw with skips and a Pepsi or as a smoothie. Yo, you can't go, yo, you can't go wrong with that. I always forget skips exist. I love that, like... Why is there no other crisp that has the same consistency and like fizz? The same fizz as a as a skip. I love like I will literally just let them melt in my mouth. They're so good. I haven't had them in years. I just never think of getting them. Hey Pikachu says my favorite meal deal is one I don't have to pay for it. See, now you're thinking. Look, that's you know what, lads, that's a good peeler. Look at that, that's immaculate. Skips burn your taste buds off, but they're so good. They're so good. But listen, ran rancheros are so good. Oh, stop. Rancheros are so, so nice. When's the last time I had a ranchero? Do you know what we have? Because they were left here by someone. We have wheelies. And they're really good. McDermott's behind the camera and I think he's thinking about divorce. They ruined banshee bones. They were supposed to be pickled onion flavor, another salt and vinegar, it's not the same. Pickled onion flavor is such a good crisp flavor. So good. Oh, wait, 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 here we go, here we go. All right, give us, give us the lowdown. Save 210 euro and 78 cent on shopping. Ooh. Car prices. Got a thousand points. Nice. Turned into five euro vouchers. That's kind of grim. My most bought items of 2023. Salt and vinegar Pringles. By far, clearing away. Ten, a chicken and stuffing sandwich. Pepsi Max. 
Charlotte O'Neill deals. That's pretty. That, that's pretty respectable. That's pretty immaculate. Twenty-nine people share my meal deal apparently. Oh. My favorite meal deal is chicken and stuffing, Pepsi Max, and Mighty Munch. Oh, Mighty Munch! Hell yeah. Apparently the go-to combo. Oh, the fuck is wrong with people? Go on. Okay, so the nation's go-to combo apparently is a chicken tikka wrap. Respectable. Yeah, love a chicken tikka wrap. Coke Zero. Yeah, all right. Walker's cheese and onion. Who's the fuck be buying Walkers in Ireland? Walkers are just the like. If you go to a stand, that can't be just for Ireland. They must. That no, must be. Sure. That must be like. They I, must have lumped us all in together, which is disgusting. I refuse to have surely that not little faith in my countrymen. Like I no, 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 no. illegal. Walkers, walkers are the shop. worst crisps. See, dude call Leo, technically yes, but Lay's are different. Lay's crisps are really good. Walkers are terrible. Walkers, it is tree it is trees and Professor Oak, you're right. It it really is. Like that's that they're awful. Imagine looking at a stand of crisps, right? You have Tatoes, you have hunky donkeys, you have hunky dories, you have feckin' like O'Donnell's crisps. Spuddies are respectable at least, you know. You can hold you can show your face in public if you eat spuddies. You have Tato's hunky dories. You have feckin' what else? O'Donnell's crisps. You have what are the other ones? Kyo's crisps. And you look at the pack of Walkers and you go, "That's what I want." You disgust you me. You can have snacks. You can have mighty ones. You can have chip sticks. You can have skips. Disgust. Waffles. Chickadees. Oh my god, waffle waffle crisps are so good. Rancheros. <laughs> Ra we were just talking about rancheros are so good. And you choose Walker's, Walker's cheese, cheese and onion. onion, which are in a blue bag as well. The worst cheese and onion flavor. They are the worst. They are the worst cheese and onion flavor. Disgusting. Oh, tiny bird. Blackbird. Neverx, thank you so much for the gift and stuff. You're very kind. Two, Professor. Sorry, is it Professor Sea Oak or Professor Coke? I'm not sure which. Oh, they're they're so bad. You could have flame and watsits if they're in stock. Oh, it's disgusting. Um, Don's sells pickled onion crisps. They're very good. Oh, pickled onion flavor crisps are just, they're pickled onion and um, what's the other one I said? Was it pickled onion? What flavor was a Banshee Bones or were they pickled onion or did I just get, I think I might've gotten everything confused in my head. Yeah, Walkers are just not good, Mugugi. Like they're, the packs are like 40 million, no, like 90% air. I was gonna say 40% air. Like that's actually pretty typical to keep them from crunching. Disgusting. I'm pretty, I'm convinced Banshee Bones were pickled onion flavor. Like I'm so, so convinced. Maybe it's just like, I don't know, Mandela effect or something, but sorry, I'm having a great time peeling these. This all reminds me, says Zargon, have you guys seen what the EU manufacturer of Takis is called? I haven't. Wait, are the Takis in Europe made? I always thought they were just imported. Maybe thinking meanies, who knows? McDara, what was the original flavor of Banshee Bones? Uh, pickled onion. So maybe, unless we're both... Wait, you know the Takis crisps? Yeah. So apparently the EU manufacturer of Takis, the company is called Bimbo Donuts Limited. Godspeed. Beautiful bastards. The more you know... <laughs> I guess. The more you know, um, whether or not you wanted to know that or not, now you, now you know it, lads. I'm just trying to get a bit of a manky looking bit off of this carrot. Okay, looking good. Looking good. And um, no joke, my dad used to work for Bimbo here in the US. I have a little stuffed bear from them. Oh, I, I, the word, it means something very normal in another language and I don't know what it is and I don't know which language. Oh, look at that. Look at that. I feel like I'm trying to sell you, sell you like a peeler, but like, look at that. Look at that. I'm just gonna put that in here. Bit more pretty big band, brand by the good things. However, Viambolo, hello and a happy Friday. I can't make this do it on. Com no, can't do it. It won't do it on command. It's a very, um, 
very temperamental chair, do you know? It reminds me of, have you ever seen the video of the two guys in the pub and they're like pushing the chairs along to make the like I can't do it, it's, it's not squeaky enough. Bimbo feckin' donuts. Oh, it's pronounced bimbo. <laughs> bimbo. Yeah, I suppose that's a little, you know. What does it mean? What does it actually, what, what does that word mean? Like, what is the translation? Because I do not know. I don't know why I keep moving this back and forth. I'll just put it there. All right, I'm gonna chop these up. I'm gonna chop them up. They're gonna get chopped. Get chopped, idiot. Oi. How big of a vegetable do we want in this pie? How much time do I have on this? Oh, like five seconds. Um, good mood music. Hasn't betrayed us yet. Ah, oh, sorry, my eyes are cheap. My philosophy teacher once said it's basically the word, the word gene for thoughts. Oh, huh? Bim was apparently Italian for baby. Oh, so baby donuts. Oh, no, it's boogie. No worries. No worries. It's all G. It's all G. Wait, it's Tatari, no! I've never heard that before. Oh, goodness. It does sound like they're saying, let's say fuck. Listen. I've never noticed that before. I should probably play this game. I say that like every second time I listen to this, but... I should stand up. I don't know why I'm sitting down. If anything, I need a little bit of movement in like my legs and hips, so. Atari, you have, you've put this into my brain forever. It's just like the Luigi, you're so freaking sexy. That's never getting out of my head. That's gonna be in my brain until the end of time. I need a bigger knife than this, this is too small. It's a big carrot, I didn't. I mean, it's going to be a big pie. I'm making, do you want to see the size of the dish we're using? It's not a surprise or anything. Like we've used this dish before, but I like, I like more vegetable than meat in a pie. And I want to fill this with vegetables. This is the, this is the tin we're using. Uh, not tin, it's not. Ah, that's not a tin. Look at that. This beautiful, fancy, it's Le Creuset. Yeah, it's real. It was, it was 14 euro in Woody's DIY, but it's working. I'm just used to the size carrots I get. I mean, to be fair, these are particularly, particularly uh, chunky carrots. So I really want to see if I can grow some vegetables this year. I probably won't do like gardening streams because I'm, I'm just, you know, I'm very conscious of privacy and stuff, but I'll give you updates if I do. Zargon says, when I get back to streaming, I'll finish Twilight Princess and my copy's free for you to borrow and I will probably take you up on that. Almost definitely, I will take you up on that. I switched from chips to roasted red potatoes and now I've ruined fish and chips for myself. Oh. 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 Oh ho ho. Hi. Hey. What's a crack? Farewell. These are huge carrots actually. They're quite healthy looking. I always forget that carrots are... They're kind of growing all the time. I should have looked at the origin to see where they're from because I don't know if we'd have Irish carrots this time of year. I don't know. I don't know. What's important is we're cutting them up and they're going to be nice, I hope. Carrots, are there, they are from the ground, it's true. What, you think these grow on trees? No. I like the little sailor hats. Ah, oh, book it and thank you. They are, there's little chef hats. Welcome in, how are you doing? And Schubert's hello, and Japan, it's 11, oh, it's 11 at night, you're so cute. Ah, stop, thank you, thank you. Here in Ireland, it is 2 p.m. 2 p.m., which is, what's that in 24 hour clock? 14 o'clock. It's 
14 o'clock and it is getting less cold. That's why am I doing this to myself? Metro, hello, hello, how are you doing? Come in, come in, come in, come in. Pal World comes out today. Yes, um, is anyone gonna try playing Pal World? Because I've seen some um I've seen some interesting talk about um their suspiciously similar models for a lot of the creatures. Like I don't know. I don't know, they 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 do look very much like Pokemon. I know that you can see that in the trailer, but like some of them are just exactly the same with like two tiny things changed like it's a bit it's a bit sorry that was so loud how am i managing this i can cut this down the middle that's how i'm downloading it currently oh shalulu would you let us know well you don't have to but if you happen to think of it and you happen to be around let us know you get on why is this oh why is this so hard these carrots are like rocks i'm sure they'll cook down just fine but Oh, I see the problem. Our beautiful new chopping boards have um, evolved. Ah. Wait, wait. My brain, my brain is full of ideas. I am filled with solutions. Let me just finish the little bit that I was chopping. Let me get this on here so I don't cut myself. Be careful handling knives, would you please? Please and thank you. Thank you. It's a chopping boomerang. Right, we're gonna pop all of this in here. I'm actually gonna throw the unchopped carrots in on top as well. Hello? That's at least a little more... No, we need to put something under that. I don't want to get myself... I don't want to get myself crunched, you know? Um, Zargon says, I'm not touching Pal Palworld. Found out today the company that made you're heavily involved with AI image generation. They even have a, ga a game powered by it. That is, yeah, that is disappointing and somehow not surprising. Somehow not surprising. Feck. Do you have, I'm not being like, oh, excuse me, what's your source? But do you have a source for that? Because I want to, I want to look just in case, you know, not in case you're wrong, but just in case someone asks, you know, like, oh, how do you know X, Y, Z? Just so I can be like, here it is. You can literally just DM it to me. Because I did see, so I saw someone post on Twitter something like, wrong, wrong knife. Um, someone posted on Twitter something like, oh, I heard they were involved in AI and NFTs. And someone was like, oh no, there, there's no evidence of that. But I, I, I want to see it. I want to see it. I want to know the- oh, that's so much easier. I must know the truth. And you deserve to know. Oh god, like, I'm so- like, okay, I'm gonna get this out of my system because you know what we're having today? We're having a good Friday, but I need to get this out of my system. I'm so sick of AI, AI image generation. I'm so sick of it. Um, also, I- I shouldn't need to say this. I know to most of you I don't need to say this. Um, I'd like to preface it by saying, I, I cannot tell you how much I appreciate fan art. Like, oh my God, I, like if someone posts a, a piece of fan art for me, it doesn't matter if it's like the Mona Lisa or if it's like a, you know, a anything, anything at all. I just, I, I'd be jumping around the place going mad. Like you've no idea how excited I get about it. Please, please don't, don't, please don't AI generate fan art, please. Please, I, like, I am, please do not do that. I, it would be really, really uncomfortable. Very, very uncomfortable. And please, please don't be doing that. Na day nigishin. Don't be doing that. A lot of people work very hard. Like, it's a very selfless thing to do to make fan art for someone. So please don't, don't, don't be doing that. Don't be doing that. Um, there is a clothing brand <clears throat> that 
was very, very highly regarded. And like, it, it's not my style, but it's, you know, I could appreciate it. Called Selkie. And I'm sure some of you probably heard of Selkie. They do like, go like they do nice stuff. Like really nice, like flowy dresses and stuff. <clears throat> Excuse me. And they just started, um, they just started using AI image generation for their latest thing. And doubling down, doubling down and the artist being like, oh, well, I think it's a great tool. I'm like, it's not a tool. You're just taking work that other people have already done. And it's so, it's really disappointing. So on that note, please support your local artists. Do you know what you can do instead of generating an AI image? You can find an artist you like and you can commission them for a really sick as hell one of a kind piece of art that they will make for you to your specifications if it's within what they're open to doing and i think that's sick as hell so consider that maybelline maybe it's maybelline thank you so much for two months how are you doing come in come in i hope you're well this is suddenly way easier i wonder if somehow having a completely off balance chopping board is really bad for chopping things <laughs> I might have too many carrots here, but look, here we are. Um, if you think you can take the humanity out of art, I've absolutely nothing in common with you. I never, yeah, I just, I don't get it. I don't understand. <clears throat> it was a bit of crack when people were like, ah, look at this silly little, like, terribly created meme image I made. Isn't this so silly? Look how bad this is. And now it's just, I don't know. It's, it's just weird, disappointing. Disgusting, disgusting. But yeah, please do not generate anything anything about me anything about the channel like please do not I, I i'm sure i can trust that most of you would not but you know yeah it, i'm i'm really sad that it couldn't just have been like a bit of crack you know just a bit of crack a bit of messing oh <gasps> tenebrous forge yeah we're making pie how are you doing come in come in come in making pie Queen. Queen. Um, I, I used Dolly when I thought it was silly little fun times. Yeah, and like so did loads of people because it was just a bit of crack because it looked terrible. Like it was so obvious that a person had not drawn it. But now it's like, I don't know, it's just weird. Nicki Minaj used AI for something recently. It was a hand with six fingers. God, like someone of that size can afford to pay an artist as well. Like that's what gets me. Like they can absolutely afford that. Like no questions about it. They have the money. They have the money. Someone said I only trust Doug Doug with AI. To be fair to him, like, he codes a lot of stuff himself. Like, I, I don't know if you saw, he did a stream recently. We caught completely by chance. It was actually, we saw the YouTube stream, but he did a stream where he had pretty much coded this bot to resp He was putting his Twitch chat on trial one by one, and it was very funny. It was actually very funny. But he did all of, like, the groundwork himself. Like, he built the whole thing himself. And had like loads of responses and all that stuff set up and that's like that's whole that's a whole different thing oh it's got dirt dirt but yeah i'm bear cross, i'm the same like i can't believe there aren't more regulations more stuff in place i think it's because a lot of people just don't think it's a problem and like i'm not joking like a lot of people just don't see it as an issue so people don't do anything with it which is a real shame all right we need to we need to this. I feel like we're in the year of figuring out the best use for AI and hopefully we can remove it from art and put it towards, yeah, something, because there are applications. There are really, really good applications for, Jesus, artificial intelligence. Oh my God, that was like a rock. I'm gonna give that another little rinse. It should be fine, but. If I was a forward thinking person, and I like to think I usually am, I would be making stock out of this. However, I'll think about it. <laughs> Oh, hi, little Robin outside. Hi, little buddy. Robins are so cute. Where is the... I had a clean tea towel. Oh, here we go. I had a clean tea towel for just... Just... Patting down the heavy water of this. Oh, jam, you'd hope. You'd hope, and yet. You'd hope. The law is really slow. Yeah, that's true. The law is slow changing for new tech. I mean, Jesus, there, have you ever seen anyone who's in charge of making laws try to understand how anything works? Anything. Anything. All right. What? what I haven't cut a leak in ages. Why do you cut a leak? If you say in half, you have to fight me, okay? All right. Let's bring the mood all the way back up. Bit did I say hello to you? Hi. How you doing? What is everybody doing for... Le weekend. 
the weekend. The end of the week. The end of the week. On the weekend. Are we doing nothing nice? Are we going anywhere now? Don't tell me where you're going. That's your own business. But are we doing anything very, very nice? In half. How could you do this to me? What did I just say? Oh, isn't your brother very nice? Very nice. Sleeping. Respect. Pizza tonight. Big shop tomorrow. Yeah. Going to see the boy in the heron. Oh, enjoy. I've heard it's very good. I haven't seen it yet myself. Got some acrylic paints and... Oh, I'm excited to try it out. Very nice. Eating lunch with mum. Working. Oh, rock and hand. I hope you get a rest in the middle at least. Fight, fight, fight. I won't fight anyone. Not yet. Playing Dark Cloud and eating cereal. Oh, yeah. That's living. I believe slice it long ways than thin. I was going to say, yeah, I think maybe into half moons. Which always makes me think of, I don't know. Full moon, half moon, total eclipse and such. Um, Jeez. That seems a bit... I'm way overcomplicating this, aren't I? You ever just feel a bit conscious of what you're doing? I reckon I can just... Oh, that's fine. It's way so softer than I thought it was going to be. We can just cut off the arse end of this anyway, so... Actually, I'll leave it attached to one so I can just get a clean, like... Oh, actually, wait, wait. I'm such a genius. I'm so... Enormous cranium. I am like the smartest person who has ever lived. That's not true, but I really wish. It. Actually, no, I don't wish that was the case. Actually, these bits are a little bit wet. Because if I was the smartest person who ever lived, geez, there's not much hope for the rest of us. Head Pikachu, thank you so much for gifting a sub to Shonach. Thank you very, very much. I thank you very, very much. You're three good. Remember when AI was just like silly little talking chatbot that couldn't go beyond like about a hundred phrases anyway yes things to do for the weekend um i'm going to megacon with friends you may or may not see me there um i'm not going to be like waving myself around the place we're just coming in for a bit of a, a wander around a bit of messing um if you see me say hi if not then that's okay you did i i, I uh, you won't be missing out i i am going to be somewhere else soon i can't tell you can't tell you anything it's all a secret that is so much leak I might be overdoing it a little bit, the leak. Yeah, someone else might be waving me around the place. Let's, we'll see how the day progresses. <laughs> we'll see how the day progresses. Oh, look at look how perfectly, like... I need to show you just the close-up of these leaks. I know this is such a strange little thing, but, like, I really hope they don't fall off the chopping board. That'd be very unfortunate. Look how beautiful the little, like, layers are. I just want to bite into a load of leak. I don't know, there's something quite nice about that. Maybe I'm just strange, I don't know. I mean, that can also be true, don't get me wrong. Yeah, the gradient, it's very nice. Very nice, very nice. All right, I'm gonna get another little bowl for these in. I'd say to see you about a week in the kitchen. Fantastic lighting in close-up shot. Easy, Chewy Fitz, I can't tell if you're serious or not because I feel like the lighting all the way up there is completely wash out all the colors forever, but. My weekend's gonna be packing and packing. I feel like a lot of people are moving at the minute. Can we get some goodness for everyone moving and grooving and going new places and doing new things and starting new little adventures for them good, them good selves? That, you know what I mean. Um, Bongo, no, I do an English exam for Canadian immigration as my assessment I did two years ago. It says expires. That can happen. Um, apparently it could be possible I've forgotten how to speak the only language I know within that time. Ah, gee, oh, um, Bongo, that's a bit mean. Like, that's, that seems very, very harsh of them. I hope it goes all right anyway. That's that's very strange. I've never heard of that. Not that I would know the ins and outs of Canadian immigration now, mind you, but... Any celery enjoyers here? It costs $350! That's... That's... That's cruel. That's just not... That's messed up. That is messed up. Let me give this a little rinse. Oh, chicken pot pie is like the only savory pie in the US. I love it. Is it really? Is, is, I would have thought savory pie would have been a thing. 
in most places. Hmm. Celery gets better the closer you get to the center. It's so good. I like celery. Celery in a soup or a stew or a pie or anything just gives a lovely flavor. Like a really, really mild, like peppery flavor, you know? Um, Pena says I flirted with the idea of moving to Canada in 2019 and messaged them maybe twice and they still, they still send me emails. You're gonna have to unsubscribe from Canada, Vita. Otherwise they're never gonna leave you alone. You'll never get away. Canada will be chasing you forever. I feel like there was a mass exodus of people from Ireland to Canada at some point. Like, again recently, not in like 2008. Like, recently-ish. I think that's probably enough. Maybe. Oh, wait, listen to this. Listen to this. Sundust star drop, stars, just sorry, Sundust star drops. Lovely name and I messed it up. Chicken pot pie is great. It's so simple to make as well. Like, and I'll admit, when I'm making a pie like this, I just kind of, I just kind of make it up. There's no laws against what you can or cannot put in a savory pie. If you're doing a sweet pie, it gets a little more. Yes, of course I'm still watching the video. You know. Be great if it wasn't celery. And what do you have against celery? What did celery do to you? What did celery do to you? Made my food taste here. Exactly. What you up to? Bring out the big guns. Oh, I, the WD forty's out now, lads. I was had by hell fruits. Those weren't big microfibers at all. It was just multiple smaller microfibers packaged in a way to make it look like one big one. I'd bring them back. Feck that. No, that's fine. It's a little job. I'd kill him. I wouldn't stand for that. I'd kill him. That is actually like, that feels like a scam. Yeah. Does a calzone count as a pie? If you believe hard enough, anything can be a pie. Maybe. If you believe, then maybe you too could be a chicken pot pie. Results may vary. Please consult your doctor before becoming a chicken pot pie. Oh, my hand hurts. Ah. I'm just gonna pick these bits apart. Kirsten, hello, how are you doing? Come in, come in. You too, yeah, Bono in a pie. Bono in a pie. Jeez, these are, there's one bit, you know the way you get, this, you get the stringy bits in celery, it just gets a bit, you know. Love your apron, thank you. I got it on Etsy, but unfortunately the store doesn't make them anymore. I actually don't remember the name of the store even. It was a while ago, jeez, I must have this well over, a while, well over three years. Alex says his chicken one once stated, I don't want to be a pie. <laughs> I don't want to be a pie, but I do like gravy. True. What if we all started calling our skin our crust? What if we didn't do that? Hmm? What if we just didn't do that? Hmm? Ever think of that? For, oh no, I'm so sorry. I, I was hitting a silly button on my stream deck and I've accidentally run an ad for everyone. I'm so sorry. Well, I'm just gonna stand here. Well. I feel like a fool now. I should probably put that button further away because I, I very rarely actually end up hitting it, so. Any minute now. Why is there a button for it? So that I can disable pre-rolls. But I don't use it very often because it doesn't really make a whole lot of difference. It's okay, only a few seconds left. I didn't mean to put you in baby jail, I'm so sorry. <laughs> Why do we even have that button? Also, I didn't even get an ad. That's grand. That means your ad blocker must be working. Um, it's very inconsistent with how it works. Did anybody get an ad there? I'm really sorry. I genuinely did not mean to hit that button. I very rarely actually do hit that button, so. Sorry. <laughs> sorry. Wrong level. 
All right, I've got all my bits of cilera here. You got two, I'm sorry. Twitch must have run out of ads in German to throw at me. Possibly, possibly maybe got to the end of the pile. I was like, you know what, that's it, no more. I got one minute, okay, it's 15 seconds. Okay, that's not, the, that's not the worst, sorry. I don't like giving you ads unannounced if I can avoid it. I'm just trying to get more bowls to put bits and bobs in. I like having all the bits organized, you know? Fishy though, how are you doing? Come in, come in. Cake and go the police. No, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Oh, forgive me. I have sinned. Right, celery done. I am kind of just taking my time with this because I'm, I am running on about four hours sleep again, so. Okay, I'm gonna put this here. I'm gonna get back the smaller knife, which I've barely used, to be honest. Neverx, thank you for gifting a sub to Public Imposter. Thank you very much. You're very kind. You're very, very kind. Can we get some good eggs, lads? You're all very good. I appreciate it immensely. Immensely. I'm going to separate out our florets. Now, you can hold on to the stalk. I'm not doing this today. Partially because this broccoli was in the reduced section, so the stalk can get a bit... You know, it can get a bit... But... Also because I think we might end up having too many vegetables in here and we don't want to overdo it. Now I'm probably going to put the broccoli in a little later because if you put broccoli in at the start of the cooking process or something like this, the whole, the whole dish just becomes broccoli flavoured and that's fine, don't get me wrong, but I'm putting other things in here too and I'd like to taste them all. I love broccoli, but it's a very strong flavour, weirdly enough. Steamed broccoli stock might be one of my favourite veggies. It's so good. So, so good. So nice. The ad confused me because it... It was in Spanish? Sky full of fireflies, you reminded me. When I turned on my laptop, you know when you're... Before you've logged in on a on a Windows device, it gives you like... Uh, if you don't set your own custom thing, it gives you like, I don't know, a nature photo or a photo of somewhere. And it's like... And there's a little button up in the corner. It's like, you can click on this and do whatever you want and learn more about it. Um, but... Um, mine was in Finnish this morning, and I don't know why. I have absolutely no idea why. I, I've never said anything to Finnish. I don't speak more than like two words of Finnish at most, and that's actually been quite generous. So I don't know how that happened, but it was, it was funny at least. None of the rest of my laptop is in Finnish. It was just that bit. Anonymous Gifter, thank you so much for gifting a sub to 911. What's your emergency? Okay, that looks a bit crunchy and not in a good way. Okay, that looks fine. We put in the rest of the broncli. We finned it so we take over the world slowly but surely. You get there, plenty of time. If anyone wants to see the bimbo bear, I forgot. I, I, bimbo, bimbo bear I mentioned. I can throw it in the Discord. Absolutely do, it'd be very welcome. I, we need to know the bimbo bear that you got, that you were given. Do you want a close up of this broncli? Can I interest you in broccoli? It looks it looks like a little it looks like an aerial view of a forest. Well, I think it does anyway, so I think it does, and that's what's important. As it says, ever since I changed ISPs last year, um, Twitch has finally realized I live in Quebec and now gives me ads in French, which is probably less effective for them since they don't speak French. That's very funny. I was getting ads and I was getting everything in Dutch there for a while. I don't know if you remember that. It was maybe two years back at this point, maybe, maybe less, maybe more. Um, everything was in, it was bringing me to like, Every default homepage it would bring me to was for the Netherlands. Like everything had NL on it. It was very, everything was in Dutch. It was very, very weird. <gasps> no, my broccoli. It's fine. I'll give them a rinse. I'll give the broccoli a little rinse. E. Y'all good? Yep. Yeah. Hey. To trim the ends and then install the controller. Yeah. Yours is cake, I have the same issue. Now, why, why do you think that might be? Why do you think you might be seeing .nl at the, same, the end of everything? <laughs> no, but all jokes aside, um, 
Ireland's a town in the Netherlands. Yeah, I mean, sure, you know, it's just over there near, um... Place name. Speaking of the Netherlands, and just for anyone who wasn't here during the week, TwitchCon EU is going to be in Rotterdam this year. And I am hoping to be there. Yeah, and Twitch is a town in Tuvalu. It's funny how it works that way, you know? I mean, it's in their URL. I mean, they wouldn't lie about that just to make a cool URL, would they? Would they? No, no one would ever do that. Guernsey. Oh, yeah. GG, baby. I didn't know it was Guernsey that had the dot .gg thing. If it's on the internet, it must be true. Exactly, Rispy Can. You, you see, you get it. Oh, this is so much broccoli. I think this, we might actually have too much filling for the pie. Oh no, how terrible. We'll just have to, we'll just have to pack up a little of the filling and put in something else. Are we feeling good about this? <laughs> Waves and heaven is a place on earth. They say in heaven, love comes first, but you know. Bog Marble, hello! Oh, very nice. A big hot cup of tea. I wouldn't mind a potato sandwich, I'm gonna be honest. I haven't had a crisp sandwich in ages because crisps... I feel like I'm deteriorating over time. My crisp, if I eat a pack of crisps, there's a 50-50 chance that they're gonna feel weird in my stomach, but I'm gonna be honest, most of the time I just take the risk. Look how many broccoli. Look at all the... Who, like, who wants a broccoli? Who wants a broccoli? I could try growing broccoli, actually. Here. Broccoli, quick, quick before I change my mind. Goodness knows we'll have enough for the pie. Jeez, I think the broccoli alone will probably fill the pie dish. Now I know some of it will probably cook down and you know, if it overflows, I think it's fine. If we end up with this much pie filling, it's fine, it's fine. I'll, I'll eat it, don't worry, I'll, I'll eat it. I'll make short work of it. There's no fear of that. There'll be no waste, I can promise you. Maybe make more than one pie. We could, but I think what I'll probably do is just let some of the filling cool and put it into the freezer because that's easier to... You can just make a pie out of it. Just make a pie. A new pie. Honey butter cake. No, oh, oopsie. Nello, how are you doing? The chicken pot pie is going to be such a pie. A pie the likes of which we have, have actually seen maybe once or twice. Maybe once or twice, you know. Now, the problem I've just run into is that I actually don't think I have... No, we don't have a plastic chopping board. So I'm going to have to chop the chicken on a wooden chopping board and then I might burn it. Um, now, bamboo is antibacterial, but I... I don't... I, 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 I don't know. I don't know. I mean, we'll probably have to replace this already anyway. And I mean, if you give it a good scr a scrub, and you said scrunch. Of course, hello, broccoli. Broccoli is so good. It's so, so good, so delicious. I am going to take a risk and I'm just going to do onion because we have the leek. Now the leek is not in the recipe, but I just, I just like leek. I just like leeks. I think they're great. I think they're great, all yolks, you know? I lo love it, love it. Broccoli with some gravy and a roast. Oh, stop, oh, it's so good. Broccoli is so, what's the word I'm looking for? Versatile, very, very versatile. You can give it a good scrunch, but only once. Yeah, you're, you're never getting it back after that. It's all over, you know? Onion. X Mensa, yes. He's a, he's a chef. He's doing his great. He, he's, he's doing his great. He's doing his best. My brain had the right meaning and the wrong words. Never happened to you? Big fan of steamed broccoli. Oh, it's so good. It's so good. All right. Let's get this onion going. Let me mess this up immediately. I'm not going to cry this time. Like, I'm actually so determined. I'm not going to cry. I'm stronger than an onion. I'm so much stronger than this onion. So much stronger than this onion. So much stronger than onion. So much stronger. So much stronger than this onion. Now I'm gonna walk away for a minute. I'm gonna pace myself. Because I can feel the burden starting, so if I walk away now.
All right. Um, I'm gonna give this, I'm, this is unwise, but. I'm just doing it anyway. Who's gonna stop me? Are you gonna stop me? No. Or maybe you will. It's okay, haven't died yet. Actually feeling pretty good about this. <laughs> Round two, fight. Does anyone know off the top of their head, what was that fighting game where in the, I don't know if it was in the original Japanese, but in the localization, maybe it was in both. Maybe it was the same voice for both. Um, they would never, when it was like level one or level two, it would never say level one fight. It was rebel one. And I don't know if it was a really weirdly picked localization thing or if it was in the original game and it sticks in my brain. Okay, I can go back, I can go back. Blaz Blue, oh Vermillion, you're entirely right. It was Blaz Blue, I remember now so vividly. How could I have forgotten? Feckin' Blaz Blue. Okay. Onion. 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 It's just onion. It's only onion. One, two. Sorry, I didn't mean to turn this into like rhythm heaven for myself. Oh my god, a cooking stream, but it's just rhythm heaven. I would have to wear like chainmail gloves. That is a lot of onion. I hope it's not too much. Oh no, my face is itchy. Well, I'm just gonna have to suffer it. Okay, I walk away. Give my hands a little rinse. See you doing up, how are you doing? Hello, this Murga comes to talk to. I've heard that chewing gum can work, but then I'll be chawing into the microphone. Do you know, you don't want to be chawing in the microphone. It's a bit mank, like. Okay. I survived. Tikiki is good news from my dog who had surgery yesterday and is doing really well. He has to have some pills for a while. He found his preferred way to take them is when they're dipped in a tiny bit of good butter. Irish butter. Oh, I really, really hope he has a full recovery. I hope so. I hope so. Also, honey butter cake. I really, I really hope you have a great, great old time with d, &D. I hope it's going to be good. And happy early birthday. And I'll give you a happy late birthday if you remind me next week as well. If you had not planned for your day of birth. Can we get a big wave of goodness? I wish your dog a very big and fast recovery. Sorry, I have to sniffle. Zargon says, does anyone ever think it's wild that Casey and the Sunshine Band wrote a song about a town in Tipperary? Go on, hit me with it. Hit me with it, Zargon. Go on, what do you... The whole first part of Give It Up is about Nina. Na, 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 na. Yeah, well, that's what you get if you go to Nina, I suppose. Is anyone here from Nina? Good job, you, you, you've done well. You've done well for yourself. Feckin' Nina. I don't think I've ever been to Nina. I've been paid oh no, better! Is that one cut deep? Is Nina like cork? Um, you know, I'm gonna say yes for comedic effect. Jeez, okay, we still need to cut up the chicken. I'm just gonna use this board. I'm going to move everything else off the table because the fear I have of Sam, Sam and Ella, they're an awful pair really. The fear I have is immense, so. 
Once the chicken is cut up, that's it. That, that's all the cutting up we have to do of everything. I'm pretty sure. Lads, I had a mad idea. Come here, mad idea. But no, you know what? No, it's too mad. I'm not gonna do it. You know, it's it's a bit, you know, it's, it's just, mm-mm, mm-mm, mm, no. No, I, w I wouldn't do it. Jesus, oh Christ. I think we do actually have more filling that will fit into that, that thing. Okay, I need to move the two E. I'm, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I can't have you near the raw meat. I, I can't. Especially you, Dave. You'd think the shark of the pair would be the one we'd be worried about. You'd think, and yet. Please don't fall. I'm begging you, please don't fall. Okay, he's fine. Oh, I forgot about my tea. Stone cold. That's fine. I'll live, I guess. Don't really have a choice, have I? All right. Oh, I hate, I hate handling raw chicken. Like I actually think it's one of the worst things. It is one of the worst sensations, like without a doubt. I'm gonna use the sharp knife so I don't have to do this for any longer than I, I really, really have to. Unfun fact, salmonella can trigger a terrible form of lifelong arthritis in some people. Mm. Don't get salmonella, lads, if you can avoid it. Oh, I don't. It's got grooves. I hate that. Oh, honey butter cake, enjoy your lurk and enjoy your lunch. Oh, it's, ooh. Okay, so this is a cheaper cut. I don't know if you call it a cut. It's a cheaper pack of chicken meat that you can get. It's the mini fillets. If you're doing something like this where you're mixing little bits of chicken in with everything else, it's honestly fine. It's not a whole lot of good for much else, but if you're just cutting the chicken into size pizzas and throwing it in a sauce or something like that then it's fine it's completely fine it's very cheap it tastes more or less the same as any other chicken you're likely to get in the supermarket once it's prepared like that so it's grand you yeah, know it's grand don't yeah my my life advice for all of you don't get salmonella if you get salmonella reconsider your life choices okay reconsider what you've done just unget it unget your salmonella immediately don't be doing that. Don't wake up in the morning and go, geez, do you know what I'd love? I'd love a dose of salmonella. You don't want that. As much as you might think you want it. And maybe there's one among you, among you, um, who wants salmonella. Don't. You don't want it. You don't. I actually don't think I've ever had food poisoning. Yet. Yeah. Sorry, I know the way I'm holding this looks terrible, but it's the only way I can keep it from slipping away instantly. Darn, there goes my weekend plans. You don't want salmonella. You don't. Don't be food poisoned. <laughs> I come in from taking the dogs out and you're... Yeah, they all want salmonella now. I actually don't think... My do. people! Among us! Yes! Yeah. Yeah. Hey, Pikachu! Thank you for the bits. My people, among us, sus. It's very important to do the ah. Uh. Something that I think is excellent YouTube poops is when the voice has like the little ah uh, in it because of the way it's been reversed, you know? Hey! This is a lot of chicken. Chicken. It'll be fine. Once it's cooked up, it'll be absolutely grand. Don't do what I'm doing where I keep occasionally looking away from what I'm doing when I'm holding a sharp knife. Like, a very sharp knife. A sharp knife that could probably go through my finger as easy as it's going through this chicken. 
The only reason I'm doing that is because there's like a fatty bit that's quite stringy and weird. Um, you know what? That, that bit's no, that's fine. Okay, nearly done. Nearly done. You know, I probably should have opened the recipe in a tab. I just want to see... Do you ever forget the order you're supposed to do everything in? Okay, time to... Wash hands. If you have handled raw chicken in the past seven years, go wash your hands right now. Right now, go wash them. Go wash your hands. Are you washing your hands? Go, go, go wash them. Go. They better be clean when I get when I get back over when I get back over there. They better be clean. Well, I'm so comfortable. Well, F. Scott Titzgerald, you may have one of the best usernames I've ever seen in my life, but that does not excuse you from washing your hands. Sorry, it's just like that. Uh, I just need to make sure I have the right recipe for this. Uh, it doesn't really matter. We'll throw everything in and it'll get cooked or it won't, you know? All right. I'm going to get a thingamajig. Oh. A big, massive, enormous frying pan. Astrid Green, thank you for gifting a sub to F. Scott Titzgerald. That is an excellent username, like genuinely, that's fantastic. It's one of the best I've ever seen. <laughs> very powerful. Very, very powerful. Right, let me organize my brain. Got this, got that. Admiral Janeway, thank you very much for two months. I thank you very much. How are you doing? Come in, come in, come in. Or nor. So lads, do you remember I said that because the part of the reason we need to get a new hob is that obviously the clicker doesn't work. You have to use a match to light the hob. That's the burner to the rest of you. Now I realized that wait a second, that's mank. Hang on. Do I have a glasses wipe around in here? Uh, maybe not? Hang on. Sorry, I didn't realize how weirdly glary the lens was. That's, that's a little better. That is actually quite a bit better. Right, come here. Fog vision. Let me just move you a bit. Hold on, hold on. Okay, so you may, you might not be able to see what's wrong in this picture. But you're about to find out what's wrong in this picture. The frying pan is sideways. And if I move this frying pan here, it has to go in the middle. You have to light the big, big yolk in the middle to use the big frying pan. Because the bit in the middle for some reason is higher than the rest of the hob. So I guess we're doing that. I really shouldn't leave that there. Actually, that's really not going to work out because we're going to need another hob to make the sauce. And literally on you, like, it's actually very annoying. Oh, goodness. Actually, no, you know what? Let's see. So fry the onions. Dip in the bowl with the chicken and return in the pan in the medium heat. Motherfucker in the pan and stir fry. You know we can actually do it all in one. We should be able to do it all in one. Now. I thought we'd be able to do it all in one. Yeah, we should be able to do it all in one. I believe. I believe. We don't have an induction plate. No, unfortunately. Unfortunately, we do not. But it does mean we get to do this. So everybody make a wish. Are we all making a wish? This is very, very important. Do 
don't get a fries. Clear. There we go. That'll do. All right, a little bit of vegetable oil, and then we're putting the chicken on. I'm just going to like seal it. Or do we brown it? I think we might brown it. I think we're supposed to brown it. Yeah, we'll brown it. We'll brown the chicken. And that'll do for now, I think. I think. I'm going to just grab this and put on some other tunes so I can talk to you as well. Today I learned you have to manually light a gas stove. No, generally you don't. Um, ours is just faulty. Ours is just quite faulty, so. Now it's not dangerous faulty, it just means it won't light itself, unfortunately, which it's an awful shame, really. Awful shame. Awful shame. Just getting some new tunes. So I can open Twitch on my phone and talk to you over here, because otherwise I have to run back and forth, because it'll take a few minutes, you know? Yeah, sometimes the spark, it just stops working. That's exactly, it just stops working entirely, and I couldn't tell you why. I don't know these things. I don't know. Sometimes it's just like that, lads. Sometimes it's just like that, and that's, that's it. It do be like that. Um, let's see, dbd, 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 channel. Uh, where is? Why can't I see chat? Hang on, hang on. Yeah, it's probably still on level a bit as well. Now, mind you, I do have you a bit sideways, but... Stream manager, there it is. There it is, very good. I wish I could do stream manager without seeing, like, viewer count or anything. That's rising out. Okay. I can still see, and that's what matters. That's what matters. Okay, I might need a little more oil than that, and I need to turn it down quite a bit. Oh yeah, I'd say the whole thing is probably on the wonk, like... Or maybe the pan is on the wonk. You know what? Who could say? Who could say? I think this might be good to go, more or less. It's fr it is frying sideways. On this day today, it is frying sideways. I, I hate, I hate raw, raw meat, disgusting, I hate it. It's the worst, the, the literal worst. Okay, it's going. Death Bunny Girl, hello. It really does. Like, it, it slaps. Oh. Okay, this is going to look way more appealing soon, I promise. I hope. Oh, I should not have done that. That was a big splash. Right, that can go directly into the sink, and I'm never touching it again. Now we get the great fun of uh, separating out all of the meat. Oh, please separate out. Oh, that needs to be way lower. Lower, 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 lower. I can't wait to have to turn all of this individually. Oh goodness, I kind of hate cooking chicken. Like the end result is worth it, but the, but the process is exhausting. It's just, I don't know, it's just kind of boring, you know? It says to brown it, so we have to take our time. We just have patience. Have great patience in these times. You know? Do, 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 do. I hate I'm trying to do this evenly. Frying chicken does smell good, that's true. You know what, actually, while well, I think of it, because I always forget to do this, I feel like a fool. Uh, just a little crack of salt. No, that's not salt. Salt and pepper, but the other way around, if you catch my drift. Uh, a bit of salt. Bog marble, how could you absolutely take that? You've just been take that -ed. Send this to your friends to totally take that them. And I need time. My heart is numb, has no feeling. So I am still here this time. Have a little pay. Why do I know the words to that song? Bog Marble, what have you done to me? Why do I know the words to that song? Jeff. Jeffrey Stoffelis. 
Thank you so much for 45 months at Tier 3. Did you know there was a notable drop in literacy in Romania? Turns out it wasn't an education issue. They just wanted to give the book a rest. Going to explode i'm actually gonna go up and fire i'm what am i going to do with you what am i going to do with you a ban request <laughs> i may not have many talents but i can have a song stuck in your head for a few words and you're very good at it, i have to say you're very good at it. okay hang on i need to find a different way to look at stream chat because i actually can't it's showing me like three lines when i go into stream manager there we go now i have you now i have you properly Fun fact, when adding salt, wait 10 to 5, five to 10 seconds for it to dissolve. Oh, so it doesn't affect the non-stick coating. You know, I actually didn't know that was a thing. Thank you so much. I did not know that at all, Death Money Girl. That's every day's a learning day in here. And usually, I'm the one learning, so. <laughs> we all learn together. All together. Moderator Battle Royale, someday. You know, if we can get them all in the same room at the same time. Now listen, we managed to get a few of them in the same room at the same time. Recent, well, relatively recently. But it could happen again. Jesus, this is so much chicken. Lads, I actually think I might be able to fit all, I might be able to feed all of us. If you don't like chicken, if you don't eat chicken, we'll just, we'll make you something else. We'll make you something else. Do, 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 do. Are the mods fighting? All right, who's your money on, lads? My money's on nobody. I'm not taking sides. If I start taking sides, I'm I'm getting myself into enormous trouble here. Money's on Dave. See, that is the correct way to bet. That's the way to do it. That's the way to do it. Oh, it's starting to get a little bit brown. I hope I am supposed to be browning this. Let me just double check. I'm fairly sure I am. I'm fairly confident. Oh, feck. Oh, oh no, it just said brown half at a time. Okay, well, it doesn't matter. We have enough space. Hang on, I should probably... There we go. What is going on in chat? Can the mods not handle the brains? Can they not handle them being nice to you? Really? Yeah, chicken does look weird before it's browned. It looks a bit dead inside, you know? Censorship. Oh, oh, oh damn pigeon. Five minutes, go on, get make the most of it. Go, 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 five minutes. Go, 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 go. Five minutes. Five minutes. Five minutes. Go, 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 go. Let's go, go, go. Wicka, wicka. Go, go, go. Oh, they're starting to get a bit brown. Now it's looking good. Okay, it is cooking down quite a lot, so I think I'm happy with the amount of chicken I got. The little teeny tiny cubes of chicken do look a bit, oh, I don't know, boring. I was gonna say unexciting, but the word I was looking for is actually boring. Most, oh, Almond Hood says, uh, most pot pie, the chicken's a little brown. Yeah, it'll cook more later. That's a good point. That's a very, very good point. Jeff says, I'm off again for a while, so I'm not appreciative back at the table while well, I won't see you. Quick, while he's not here, be nice to Jeff. This is your chance, lads. Oh, jeez, that's teetering and whatnot quite a bit. Please brown up faster, oh, chick. Please brown up faster, oh chicken, pot pie filling. 
Please brown up fast your old chicken. Please brown up fast your old chicken, 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 chicken. I mean, it's fairly all right looking so far, I'd say. I just keep moving it because I'm I'm always afraid to not move it, move it, you know, just in case, just in case it all goes on fire instantly. I know it'll brown to. I, I should just leave it alone, Mulk. You're right. I should just. I'm not touching it. I'm not leaving. <laughs> Jeez, I nearly died. I'm okay. I didn't actually nearly die. I'm fine. No, I did. I touch it again. she was going off to the shop. Well, if I was going to the shop, what do you want? Say, for instance, I'm going to the shop. Say, for example, I'm going to the shop. What do you want from the shop? And hypothetically say that I'm going to the shop with an unlimited budget. What do you want from the shop? I'm touching the chicken. Milk, milk, vanilla ice cream, coffee, please, plutonium, Lego. I'll see what I can do, let's see what I can do. The cheese, Ben and Jerry's crispy. Oh, crispy and lemons are so good. So, so good. Tea, a surprise, an aircraft carrier, Precious, the precious tritium. Some chips, oh yeah. Cheese, it's Cadbury eggs, Borg, Borgors. Milk chocolate oaties. Oh, I'll see what I can do, okay. Oh, that's nice. This is starting to brown up early, okay. I do need a bowl or something to put this in. Can you bring us an Irish word from the store? I can, if you just give me a little while to get this part done. If that's all right for you, Josh. And then I will get back around to that because I can teach you a nice word. Or a, a less nice word, I don't know. Oh, I know, I already know the word. I already know the word. I already know. One minute left, lads. Make the most of it. One minute. Go, 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 do, 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 I don't want to like dry this out with an inch of its life or anything. Now, I know it's going to be in like the sauce, but still, you know. No amount of sauce can compensate for dry chicken. I think that's probably fine now. I know it doesn't look, it, it looks very pale on camera. It does have a little bit of, a little bit. It's midnight for me, this made me hungry. Oh, did you have enough to eat today? There's no law against a little snack. I'm just gonna take it off the heat now. I don't want to dry it all out and make it weird. I don't think I learned to cook chicken. Oh no! I don't think I learned to cook chicken without drying it out until I was like, I don't know, a couple of thousand years old. We've lost one, lads. We've lost one. Ah, for feck's sake, would you get out of the pan? Get out of the pan. Get out. Get out. Oh, no. Okay, we're gonna turn the heat down now fairly significantly. I'm, you know what? I'm gonna have to put this, I literally don't have anywhere else to put this. I've run out of, of space very quickly. Right, this back in the middle, a uh, little more oil. Three, dear smurgut, I just curve me the mahgut, I sucked. Ocht me. Mahgut kasool is chicken enough. Mahgut kasool is chicken enough. Chicken and nut. Ooh, ooh. What was that? I think it was actually just called chicken tonight, wasn't it? Like a sauce or something you could get. You should have stabbed it with I should have stabbed it with a fork. Stabby rip, stab, stab. Cherry said it's fine, I think, for 28 months. I'm afraid I'm putting it over here. I don't I don't think it's cooked in the middle. I don't think that some of that chicken's cooked in the middle, but it's sealed, so it'll cook more later, you know? 
Zargon is packing. Can we please get some goodness for Zargon who is packing? Packing up loads and bit, loads of bits, loads of bobs, you know. Stuff and the things you could even say. I'm gonna have a sip of my sup. It was called Chicken Night, it was a very famous and catchy jingle. Yeah, that's the only thing about it I can remember. I feel like I saw it in the supermarket the last time I was in the UK, but I I might have also just imagined it. Yeah, Zargon's moving, packing, packing bits and bobs to move. Okay, so we need to put in the, once the oil is hot, it's, it's definitely still hot. Onions, celery, and carrots, and I'll probably put the leek in as well. Actually, we should probably just fry everything. We should probably just put everything in. Oh, I may have overdone this slightly. <laughs> I'll leave the broccoli to last because I feel like broccoli cooks fairly easily. I'm not too worried about- ah, oh, jeez, what have I done, lads? What have I done? This is so much. This is so, so much. I actually think- oh. I'm gonna need a tiny little extra bit of oil in the pan. Yeah, I think it will cook down, to be fair. Like, it's a lot of bulk right now, but it should be fine. Tasty, exactly, Lando. Tasty, delicious chaos. I'm glad I went for the leek. Yeah, onions cook very, very fast. Like, they really do. So, in with everything else, it should be grand. Noodle holes! Thank you so much for 15 months. Oi, 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 thank you very much. How are you doing? Come in, come in, come in. How are you getting on? On this Friday. Oh, that's a big cube of carrot. All right, I'm not. I'm not taking that out to cuddle. That didn't show up here. Oh my God! Wait, hang on, hang on. What am I? Hey Pikachu, thank you for gifting five subs to Purple Melds, Endless Soul, K Vaughn, Witch of the Valley, and Sir Surfadier. And Sleepy Coffee Cakes, thank you so much for the bits. Lads, what did I do to you? Thank you for kicking off the hype train. I did, it didn't come up for some reason on, um, it didn't come up on screen at all. Oh, I'm after taking this out. Melinda Magpie, thank you for 18 months of your prime. I thank you very, very much. Um, I got a work free day today, says Noodle Hall, so I hope you're doing fine too. I'm doing pretty good. I'm doing pretty good. Oh my God. Sargon. Sargon, thank you for gifting a tier three sub to Paddy Wright. That's, oh my God, like, she's, come here to me, you and I, bore, come here and I borscht. <laughs> Never thank you for gifting a sub to the pasta lord. Lads, can we just get some good eggs? I don't know what to do with you. Ah, jeez, that's a lot. Thank you so much, oh my God. Oh. You're wild. All right, hang on. I'm just gonna double check the recipe. I want to see more good eggs. More, more, more appreciation. Don't, don't worry. I have not forgotten about the Irish word. I just want to try and get this done. Try. This will definitely take longer than the recipe says. <laughs> Hey Pikachu, thank you for the bits. Ah, oh, for the love of God, for the back of this, what is going on? Royal K Man, thank you for gifting the oh, Come on! For five subs to Intelligent Slime, Head and Drawer, Sunny.exe, Din Maker, actually, Ren, Spicy Furnace, thank you for gifting five subs to Bill the Oh my God, Among, Among Us! us. Yes. Yes. Uh, <laughs> Hundred gems, Kluge, Kirsten C, and Mika Raven. Who did that? And never thank you for the best. What am I going to do with you? What? For the love of God! Oh, what is happening? Hang on, I just need to give you a little. Coffee cakes, thank you for gifting five subs. Gardner, actually, thank you for gifting five subs, and they have all gone to Al Alrexia Gaming. 
Um, I'm on your leg, Amelia after lunch, after lunch. I'm taking the chicken lady. Um, Mason Underhill. No, Carol, Carol Peretta, Pixel what Mint, Tira, Funky it's Flipping hype. Monk. Pipe is happening. And Schmo, thank you for the bits. Oh my. <laughs> What is happening? What's going? What is in the air today? I I I I need to I need to I need to. Gay Luigi. <laughs> Gay Luigi is in the air tonight. Oh, for the wait, wait, wait! I'm completely behind. Wait, just thank you for gifting five subs. Never thank you for gifting five subs. Astro Green, thank you for gifting five subs. Bridge, you thank you for the bits. Head in the drawer, thank you for the bits. I'm going to pass out. I'm going to pass out. What's going on? What is occurring? I want to see additional good eggs. Oh, thank No, seriously, thank you so much. Oh my god. What is happening? Cod Tar, Shul, and Shaw, and you. As Toshiv, Harava, Flahu, and you. Gravmila, Mahagrav. Pepsi. <laughs> Spicy ferret, thank you for the bits. Oh god, hang on, I have to I have to do for music. Excuse me. Um, I know what we need. Oh jeez. <laughs> if you've been gifted a sub, show us your emotes. Let me see you go once, once, once. Don't forget to thank whoever gave it to you. It's very kind. Very, very good you. Alright, we're going with some spiral tunes. Jeez, that's what am I going to do with you? Like, I... Who, who, who are you be? Who turgos? Head because you thank you for the bits. Never thank you for the bits. Bunny moments, once I have this done, we will have a close-up of shark. Don't you, don't you doubt that. Don't you doubt it. Ah, jeez, lads. Spicy fire, thank you. What am I going to do with you? You're a level line hype train and it's a Oh my god, look at this chef. <laughs> oh You're mad. You absolutely are. Mr. J, thank you so much for the bits. You're all mad. I'm gonna have to let this cook for way longer than the recipe says. There's just too much stuff. There's too much. Hard. It's a mad Friday, Royal okay, man. I, I don't know. We're we're going a bit mad. Give them. So I'll give you some of the pie. I'll do my best. I can I can like hand it up to you through the camera. Oh my god! That's seriously. Thank you so much. I. Oh, oh, whew. Oh, 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 schmo. Well, you, you got your answer fairly quick, I suppose. Whew. Oh, jeez, look at all the onions on the back of that spatula. I didn't realize that I walked over. Never! Oh my god, thank you for gifting another two subs to Purple Blossom and Bryn Yosef. I'm... Anonymous gift, thank you for gifting five subs to Soup Home and Butchie the Viewer. Great name. And um, Daffy Lizard Chunks and Nehemius. Mmm. Mmm. Level 10. I don't know if we've ever seen a level 10 before, or maybe we have, maybe just not for a while, I don't know. Listen here. Nefrix, thank you for gifting five subs to find up. But wait, 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 w
pineapple otters sausage chasm stanley joex and joyce von barra barra zarga thank you for giving sub to michael away great name garden rachi thank you for gifting a sub to chip hitch josh thank you for gifting a sub five subs to quinos dark evil alice j love ricky's plays and echolos We're about to, uh, we're apparently about to beat our last um, hype train record, but um, we have, we, we've hit the goal. Righteous Nitrous, thank you for gifting a sub to Diamantaro. Oh, we've hit the goal, that's it, you're getting a lesson. You're getting your lesson. I don't have a, I, wait, I do, I do, I do. We are. Woo! Thank you so much. I'm gonna start on that soon. And we're going to have our Irish lesson in, I wanna say within the next month, I'm gonna get it together. It's gonna be good. It's gonna be fun and I really hope you enjoy it. Thank you. Oh lads, thank you so much. Oh my god. I was just like, do you know what? We'll have a nice little chill time today. We'll make a nice little pie. It'll be grand. And I mean we're doing that as well, don't get me wrong, but I'm still waiting for this to soften up properly. A lot of this is not softening very fast at all. I'm gonna put a tiny bit more oil on the pan. I want to see additional good eggs and appreciate Appreciation. Ah, lads, seriously, thank you so much. Oh, thank you for letting me continue to do. Pepsi. Thanks. Oh, God. Smash that record. It. I don't think we've ever gotten to a level 11 before. I'll say that 10 times fast. A level 11. A level 11, a level 11, a level 11, 11, 11. 11. There's only two. 11. Raldon NC, thank you so much for your prime. You're very kind. Thank you so, so much. You're three good. And Anonymous, thank you for the soup. Okay, it's getting there. It's starting to reduce. I want to make sure... I want to just let it all cook down a little more. I'm... Sir, thank you for gifting five subs to Moogleboe and Cadwan. Trace of Cyan, Smooth Beast, and Enjoy the subs, everyone. And never thank you for the bits. I would go up and get the baha You made me a pose. You made me. Okay, now it says about to beat your last record. I don't know what the truth is. I think I, I think Twitch might be lying to us. Lads, oh my god, thank you so, so much. Oh, this is mad. Thank you. Serious. Oh my god, thank you so, so much. Someone said put the goal up. I didn't have a plan past this. Remember when hype trades were only level 5, so the highest anyone hit was like 2,000. Yeah, I was mad. That was mad. Exciting times, lads. Rager, thank you for the bits. <laughs> I think this should be more or less ready to go in a few minutes. Thank you very, very much. He thinks I'm just gonna burn the food. Don't worry, I got I got my eye on it. It's okay if it, if it browns on the pan a little bit. It should be all right. Why well, you have to be just like we're getting five subs to DJ from Petro Pish, DJ um, Illinois Glasses, and Jake J. Oh my god. Oh my god, let's stop it. Stop it. I'm. Well, you know what? If anyone has just been gifted a sub, um, if you join us over in Discord, in case you haven't already, you can get into the sub-only areas. You can join the Minecraft server. You can come in for film night tomorrow if you'd like, and you can get in on activities. Um, God, thank you so much. I'm, I don't know what to do with myself. Jeez. Uh, oh. Oh. Woo. Okay, I think these are... These look fairly okay. I'm gonna actually turn the heat off here entirely. I need to take a minute. MD infinitely being responsible with the money. Cake you time better is be fun being time. responsible with your uh, money yeah, or I'll... Yeah, 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 Pepsi. You better be being responsible with your money or I'll borscht you. I'm just saying. Oh. Let me throw on more tunes. What on earth am I going to do with you? Oh. <laughs> Water activities, little holes in your teeth, you know? You heard Minecraft, Shunnok. We have a Minecraft server, it's very nice. I like Penis. it. I like it, I think it's nice. I'm gonna move back over here for a minute and just... Away, away. Oh, that's... 
then I've just put this all on a plate. Thank you so, so much. I want to see additional good eggs, additional appreciation, though, seriously. Holy moly. Okay, this all looks pretty good. I'm just gonna put it on a plate. I should put it in a bowl, but I actually don't have a bowl right now, so on the plate it goes. Very carefully. Very, very carefully. God, that's a lot of vegetable. And that's not even including the broccoli. Uh, Heather, I've no idea. The, the BTV modes just seem to be completely broken and I have no idea how or why. All right. I need to take like two seconds and just have a sip of water, lads. You've been, you've me spoiled, seriously. Thank you so much. Um, Astrid says, it feels really weird, but I'm financially comfortable for the first time in my life. The other day I ran out of embroidery hoops and instead of having to scour flea markets, I remembered I could just buy some. It is a really, really nice feeling when you, oh, I never got rid of the chick chicken. Um, it's a nice feeling to be able to just replace important things and not have to like really, really worry about it. Like, I'm not an Egypt. I don't be out burning my money, but I've been able to do a lot of stuff that I'd be terrified. Like, I'd be counting my coins before, and I still count my coins. I don't want to be an Egypt, but it's it's a it's a very nice feeling. It's something we should never take for granted. I mean, we, should, we should never have to think about it that way, but, you know, even still. Oh, my God. Plum Blossom Robot, hello, you're not late at all. We've just sautéed the vegetables. Sautéed might be a bit of a, a stretch, but... Oh, goodness. Lads, thank you so, so, so much for the hype train. Um, I don't know if we bet the record. I don't think it matters. We hit the sub goal, and thank you so, so much. I don't know what to do with you. Level 11. Seven, Jesus Christ. 77 gift subs. 77. Here's your Kaimkin pie with extra vegetal as you ordered. Oh, I love vegetal. Radioactivated, thank you for the bits. <sighs> 11, that's the raffle ticket winner. Oh, sorry, I was looking at it upside down. <laughs> Jeez, lads, I don't know what to do with you. Or myself, or anybody. In fact, I don't ever know what to do. <laughs> Okay, okay, we need to start making the sauce. Sauce. Whatever you're doing, it's working. I don't, I don't know what's happening. I don't know what's going on. Um, let's see, D D D D. Okay, I see what's going on. Another successful train. You were all yell great. Three less than three. You're all three less than three. Great, thank you. Thank you very much. Do you know what I think you've earned? You know what you've earned today? Stop 
I love you, kitchen gun. Oh, I didn't mean to cut him off. Sorry, Derek Bum. I did not mean to cut him off like that. Sorry, lad. Let me skip into this bit. Are we all feeling very, very alive after that? Are we grooving and... Oh, I should taste a bit. Yeah, that's a carrot. That, that's definitely a carrot. Rui! We need to start making the sauce. Um, I don't have a whisk that I'm comfortable using in the frying pan because it's a non-stick frying pan. So I'm thinking I might, I might just, I might just wing it. I'm just gonna wing it. We are approaching William, Nilium levels of William. And you tell William about that now. And he'll tell you something straight away. I'll oh, he'll tell you. Oh, what the, what the, what the? Okay, I need about 50 grams of this, but... Do we have big support for eyeballing recipes like this? Because that's what I'm doing at this point. I make up sauces as I go along, and they usually... Oh, they usually work out fine. Usually. Usually most of the time, probably. Hmm, hang on, I'm going to just... This feels illegal. It feels illegal to put the butter there, but there's literally no reason to not do it. It's completely fine. It's a clean countertop, I think. It was clean when I cleaned it anyway, and I cleaned it before stream, so. Okay, the presence of oil on that pan is not really going to interfere with the kind of sauce we're making, so I'm not too worried about it. I think, oh, should I throw in a bay leaf? Oh, lads, I could throw in a little bay leaf. I could throw in a bay leaf. I've several times I combined eyeball it, play it by ear, into ear ball it. Oh, I like that. Let's ear ball it. Ear ball it. Okay, I can't whisk, but I think this will do if I'm just careful. Okay, ah, oh, feck, I have to relight this. Relight my fire. Oh, feck. Oh. Are we ready for fire? A whole bottle of Baileys. Oh, I don't know. I mean, mm, we haven't even opened the Baileys yet. I keep forgetting we have Baileys because neither of us, I was going to say neither of us drink it. That's not quite true. I do like Baileys with certain things, you know. It makes for a good base. Oh, I'm sorry, that was really loud. It makes for a good base for other things. Now, there is your precious butter. I'm actually going to change the tunes back so I can keep talking to you over there because otherwise I'll get lonely. Lonely. I'm so lonely. I have nobody of my own. All right. Where are you? Oh, it fell over. It fell over. It fell over. Okay, this needs to be a very low heat. I really hope I can make this work with the spatula. Oh, that's way too hot. I actually don't know if I can do this in the pan. I might have to do it in a... Yep, yep, no, I'm, I'm calling this here. I'm gonna do it in a pot instead, because otherwise it's going to burn. It's the, there's many downsides to this hob and they just keep emerging. Okay, and I'll just use a regular whisk, so it will be a bit loud. But you know what else it'll be, lads? It'll be worth it. The, ooh, the amount of matches I've gone through. Now, mind you, I like a match, but the butter sacrifice will not be in vain. We can just put it in here instead. We can just salvage. Oh, that was... <laughs> That was a thunk. Don't worry, I haven't forgotten about the Irish word as well. I just want to kind of get everything together because if I lose the run of myself now, lads, you know me. And you know me as well as I do. That's right. So if I lose the run of it now, it's all over, all right? I just put that in the sink. I didn't mean to put that in the sink. This place is going to be a mess, but it's fine. Whisk.
Uh, we did get the Oberodegan Oscoelago. We got to say something Irish, we did. I just kind of did it on the hop. Do you not use a candle lighter instead of a match? I'm going to be honest, I like using matches. Maybe I'm weird. I like using matches. There's something... Not in like a pyromaniac way. There's just something very satisfying about the... You know? I don't know. It, it feels nicer somehow. Maybe I'm just a bit mad, but that's no surprise to anybody. <laughs> Excuse me. Hello. Hello. Okay, we're gonna turn this down immediately. Immediately. Not in the pyromaniac way, yet. It's shimmering a little more than I'd really like it to be, but the small hob doesn't actually work. So, we... Oh, I don't... Don't be doing that. No, Danny Gishin. No escape, hello! Okay, we go, we go, we go, we go, we go. We do... Oh, no, oh, no, I'm panicking. I'm actually not panicking, it's gonna be fine, but... Yeah, it's way too hot, but like, I don't really have any other way to uh, do this, unfortunately. So we're just going to make it work. Zergen says, lads, do you know what I feel like doing? What do you feel like doing? Do you feel like... Dancing? I feel like dancing, yeah! <gasps> oh, Zargon, I, I second this idea. I think it's a wonderful idea. Do it. Do it immediately. Right now, this minute. Why is it foamy? Oh, it's all good. It's okay. It's all coming together. You gotta trust the process. Now, look at that. It's getting silky. Do you trust the process, lads? Because you must trust the process. If you do not trust the process, then you may not... You might... You might not trust anything. I will not rue this day. That was too much. That's fine. It's fine. We have the milk for after. It'd be grand. It's hard to have faith in a rue. It's alright. Alright, so it's turning into a bit of a paste now. We'll give it some paste in one minute. So you see it's a paste. It's starting to get a bit dry. So what you do is... Oh, I did not mean to do that. Yeah, just... Ooh, open up the milk. Just throw in a bit of milk. A little bit at a time. Just add it in a little at a time. You have to really, really trust the process on this, otherwise you'll lose the plot entirely. I used to be way more terrified of making roux, because sometimes you look at it like this, you're like, that's it, it's scrambled egg, it's ruined. No, it is al almost always salvageable. You just have to, you gotta believe, you know? I lost the plot hours ago. Well, I lost the plot years ago. Now someone's gonna come in and say, well, I ever had the plot to begin with, you know? I always have to one up with it, that's fine. I started it. You gotta believe. You gotta let it do its thing. If you see a little black mark in here, I think it's just a little bit of onion. Slightly um, browned onion, maybe very browned onion. I once believed I had the plot. See, Gardarachi, that's the problem. If you think you ever had the plot, you're, all, you're already too far gone. <laughs> You must embrace that you do not have the plot to begin with, and then that's okay. That's okay. Zargon, you know that I am well able to intercept your brain cell. Well able. There's a plot? I thought there was a bunch of one-shots. I mean, it's episodic, you know? But there's kind of an overarching story, I think. Maybe. Oh, Kirsten C, what kind did you get? What kind of earbuds? I must know, I'm nosy. Isn't that a turn up for the books? Why would a turn up want a book? Um, Almond says it's very close to how we make gravy for biscuits and the gravy. I. You know, that actually makes sense now. I can see I can see it. I've never had biscuits and gravy. I want to do it some week. I keep saying, I've been saying this for years. I'll do it someday. I'm just terrified of messing it up and disappointing all of you.
I'm gonna bring the heat up a little bit again now. I want to make a fine bit of sauce because we have a fine bit of vegetal to go with it, you know? Milk. That's a lot of milk. If you don't like milk and you don't want to use milk in this recipe, sorry, I don't have any good alternative for this one. You could probably make like, I don't know. I don't know. Don't know where I was going with that. I'm sure you could do something. I'm gonna put a tiny bit of extra um, flour in here. Now I know this seems like a terrible time to add in flour, but trust the process in the ground. Sorry to the lactose intolerant among us. Among us? Yeah, this is fine. It's whisking in fine. You just have to give it a minute. Did I change the... I did change the camera back. I thought I didn't there for a minute. That was weird. Yeah, use a different recipe. It's like, oh my god, did you see the whole thing about the bean soup where someone was like, can I, how do I make this bean soup? I don't like beans, but I want to make this bean soup. Can I substitute in X, Y, Z? I was like, well, that's, that's a different recipe. That's a whole different recipe. Cornstarch and stock, you know red syrup? That's actually not a bad shout at all at all. We need more liquid. And we need more thick. More, more liquid, please sir, I need, I'd love some more liquid. More! Oh, it's starting to ticken up real nice now. Oh yeah, now we need more milk. It's a bit of a constant back and forth between, you know, more cheese, more macaroni, less cheese and macaroni and such, but I'm gonna turn this down. Oh, club banger, lads. Get... Oh, hell yeah. Did I close that? I can keep myself to focus on what I'm doing, to be honest. Even, even if I'm cooking off stream, like, I find it much easier if I have a bit of music on. It keeps me going, like, it keeps me in motion, if that makes sense. It keeps me in motion and it keeps me focused on what I'm doing. It's why I can't really listen to podcasts if I'm actively doing something. I only listen to a podcast if I'm, like, walking to somewhere. Because otherwise I'll start getting distracted and I'll miss what I'm doing or I'll miss what I'm listening to, do you know? There's a reason for that. Oh, Zargon, I know, but I won't have the official reason for uh, a couple more months. Please, spoilers, please. <laughs> Tragic pasta, hello, you're telling me a chicken pot of this pie? Oh, jeez, you don't know the half of it, I'll tell you. Do you know what I'm going to do? Do you know what I'm going to do, lads? Do you know what I'm going to do? Do you know what I'm going to do? I'm gonna add a little bit of cheesiness to the sauce. Just a little. By which I mean I'm grating up some cheese here on the fly and I'm just throwing it in the sauce. Just a little. Just, just like, just enough for the bit of flavor. We don't want it to be a cheese sauce, just a sauce with a bit of cheese in it. There's a difference, you know, there's a big diff- That's fine. That's fine. There's a big difference between a cheese sauce and a sauce with cheese in it. 
whole different ball game altogether. Bit of cheddar. It's not the fancy, just has a little bit of flavor. A little bit of flavor, you know? Oh no! I'm after messing the place up. That's it. Let's call it all off. Call it all off. That'll melt in. I'm just gonna pop this back in the fridge before it ends up being not in the fridge. My stepdad is a type to never follow a recipe, just did what felt right. Food is always good, this is why I think whenever I saw you trust the process. Ah, that's that's high praise, thank you. I mean genuinely, like there are some foods where if you make it once or twice, you know you know that there are certain things that have to be a certain way, and then past that you can kinda just eyeball it. It's a genius grater. Oh, it's just it's not in fancy, it's from a, I think it's I think it's from Tesco, but they do the same one in IKEA. Like the very same one, just in a different colour. The box grater is so handy, like really, really, really handy. Okay, so what I'm thinking I should be able to do at this point is I might have to use the pan again. Thankfully, I didn't run water over it in the sink. I just kind of sat it there, so I could just, I'll just grab it. You know what I'm going to do before I forget? I love the clink, the clink clank sound of all these little bottles. Where are my bay leaves? All my fellas, my fellas, the bay leaves. Please, one and all, give it up for the bay leaves. Bam, 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 bam. Bay leaf. Two bay leaf. Oh, oh. I wanted to wait until I'd done all the the whisking. We get to fish these out later. That's going to be fun. Two. I know it's crazy, crazy stuff. Okay, I think. Jeez, lads, it's non-stop, back and forth here, non-stop. Oh, is this okay? Hang on. Hang on. I need to just give me a sec. Right. Jeez, lads, I'm wrecked. <laughs> um, I'll pop this here for a sec. Do, 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 blah, blah. I've used so many matches today, but it's fine. Blood for the blood gods. Eggs for the egg throne. We're actually not using any eggs today, but I just saw egg discussion. Egg chat. Nothing can match your match usage. Okay, now, now what we're going to be doing, I think I'm kind of doing this a bit arse backwards, but listen. It want, so the recipe wanted me to do this all in the one pot, but it was not happening over the heat in the middle. This is gonna be a fun one and it's going to be messy. Oh, oh, I forgot one thing. I forgot one thing. I forgot the cube of stock. Do, 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 do. Cube. Where's, oh, please. Yes, yes, please. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Here we go. Now we're gonna, we're gonna bring that down as low as possible. And we apparently just crumble it in and let it melt, which feels illegal, but look, here we are, lads, here we are. This, I think I should have done this early in the process, but to be honest, it'll be fine. If we need to, we can put a little more liquid back in the sauce and it'll it'll just do its thing. Like, it's fine. It's fine. Nothing to be stressing about. Oh yeah, we know we need we need a little more liquid in here. But it'll be grand. It'll all be fine. I have to be very careful stirring this now. This will all melt down. And then we have to remember. Will somebody come here? Will someone remind me to take the bay leaves out? Because I don't want to bite into a bay leaf, and neither do you. And neither does- no, nobody wants to bite into a bay leaf. And if you think you want to bite into a bay leaf, I'm sorry to break it to you, but you're wrong. You don't actually want to bite into a bay leaf, you just think you do. Take the bay- oh, you too, thank you, I'll take the bay leaves out. I will, of course. Thank you. Thank you for reminding me how- what would happen? What would happen if I'd forgotten? Oh, yeah. All right.
Right, we're throwing everything back in now. Chicken. Oh, I hope this all fits. Radioactivate, thank you for the bits. Hey Google, set a reminder to take the bay leaves out. It would be very funny if that had worked. Thankfully, it did not work. I say thankfully as though I wouldn't have benefited from that, but listen. Look at that heap of food now. A heap of food. I'm trying to get it all down into the sauce. I'm really playing a dangerous game here, lads. We're coming right up towards the brim of the pan. But you know what? Still, all the same. I think we're fine. Oh my god, I forgot the broccoli. I might just start breaking the broccoli up a little smaller. It looks delicious. It's getting there. It's definitely getting there, I would say. <gasps> Radioactivated, no way. You set off your own Google. Oh! Just breaking them up. Who wants a who wants a raw broccoli? Delicious. Just whoop. Beard Hepcat, hello! I will give you a disclaimer. I am just kinda I'm just kinda freestyling this pie, like I really am. I'm just throwing everything in there. Any vegetables I want, I'm just throwing them all in. This is essential. This, this is approaching a cream stew in a pie, I'm going to be honest. And how bad? In this weather, how bad? Our garden has not fully defrosted until literally today, over the last, like, three or four days. Still chunks of ice to be broke. <gasps> oh, chunks of ice! Woo! I just throw a few things into the washing machine. Very good. Put those on very hot. Oily. Uh, not so much oily as just... Yeah, it's grand. Grand. Let me. I'm going on. I have to. Now, because this sauce is thick, we just have to be careful it doesn't stick to the end of the pan. Oh, we need more liquid. I hate to say this, but we need more liquid. I like to think this looks. Very wholesome and delicious, but I have no idea what's about to happen here. Just throwing in extra bits, extra bobs, extra bobs, extra bobs your uncle. Do you want some motorcycle grips for your pie? Oh yeah, please, would you, would you hand them over to me there now? Who wants motorcycle grips in their pie? Oi, who's feeling brave? <laughs> Who the hell did that? <laughs> Spicy fur, thank you for the bits. How cold is it where you are, Cake? It's actually not that cold now. It was, um, it didn't go up above um, two Celsius there for a few days, but it's honestly fine now. I think it's like five, six degrees. Oh, oopsie. Okay, that's, that's as much as it's fitting in there. I'm gonna put in a little more liquid. You must trust that this is going to be nice. You must trust. I know it looks like it's getting a bit weird and watery, but I just need more liquid so that everything is nice and yice. Ugh. I don't want you getting weird around the edges now, lads. Come on. Come on. This pan is not quite a critical mass, but I can promise you it's not far off. It's really not far off. I'm trying to just make sure everything is covered, you know? Now, there's nothing raw in here, so I'm gonna start tasting the sauce. There's gonna be bits of feckin' sauce all over the place. I definitely need, uh, you see, I'd say I need a bigger pan, but it's very rare I find myself cooking anything bigger than this. I know what this means. A little bit of pure. I hate to tell you that I'm weird around the edges. Oh, it's okay. We're all weird around the edges. Aren't we? Not putting cinnamon in there. Not putting sage. Not putting... Oh, why do I have so much cinnamon? Uh, uh, how do I have so... Oh my god, the amount of cinnamon in here is unbelievable. 
It's unbelievable. Nutmeg, that is exactly what I'm looking for, funny enough. Because we we're only talking, that there it is. Oh, well, we can't, we can't play Ave Maria on stream anymore. I'm just like a shake, like a, a bear shake. Because nutmeg is a very, very, very strong flavor. And I would hate to ruin it, but it's funny how it works and stuff like this. It feels illegal. It feels entirely illegal and not allowed, but there are no laws against putting nutmeg in anything you want and just letting it do its thing. It's 19 Celsius in Florida, says Jam, though by Florida standards it may as well be a blizzard. Yeah, I was gonna say, I know Florida does be fairly warm most of the year, like, which I couldn't be dealing with now, I'd be in ribbons. I, like, even though, do you know what's mad? Even though I definitely feel the effects of different seasons, like, I do get a bit down in the winter and stuff more than, not so much this winter, thank goodness, but, um, I feel weirder. I would feel much weirder if I didn't have a cold winter. Oh my god. I mean, wow, I can't tell. I have no idea how this could possibly turn out. for this kind of carry on, but I've no time. I wanted to get some time in the shop, but I couldn't find any fresh stuff and I thought I had a little thing of time here. When my dad makes chicken pot pie and so fully sealed pie crust, he puts the chicken veg stew part in a small casserole dish and layers it with American biscuit dough. Oh my God, that sounds so good. Oh, Kirsten, that sounds incredible. Oh. Because I know that the American biscuit dough is quite light and fluffy, isn't it? It's quite light, quite fluffy, quite nice. It looks like you just used all the fridge leftovers and made a meal, but isn't that the way to live? Because you don't want any waste, you know? I'm a big, um, I'm a big advocate of not wasting food when possible. What I actually did... Oh. Um, what I actually did was, um... When I went to the shop... I was only going to get the bare basic ingredients for this, but I saw a few things with the yellow sticker and I was like, feck it. If I can get extra, a um, little bit of extra flavor in here and some extra vegetables, how bad? Oh, feck, that's, that's spilling a bit now. I'd probably, you know what? I'd half a mind to get a tin of peas as well. I'm really glad I didn't because they would not have fit in here. Well, maybe they would have done. Made a potato and leek soup yesterday with my fridge leftovers. Yes! Oh, leftover soup, leftover pie. Like, you can't go too far wrong, lads. You really can't. What other little flavors could I put in here? Because the only thing the recipe lists is thyme. I don't want to go too mad because you can over season things. And that's. Oh, it asks for mustard. I don't think we have mustard. Yeah, we don't have mustard. It's not something we've had in a while, actually. Hmm. Do -do -do -do. Oh, it's getting good though. No mustard. None. Not even a little bit. I do have some, I don't know if sage would be right. Rosemary we don't have, we have oregano. Actually, we have mixed herbs. Excuse me. That's not mixed herbs. Oregano isn't quite right for this, I don't think. Mixed herbs, you're her. Uh... Actually, a tiny little shake of this now. I mean small, like a little, just a little, suggestion of it and I'll try it. I don't want to overdo it. Because there's rosemary and there's marjoram in there so that should be nice. And oh, Sorry, there's not rosemary, there's the other one. Thyme. Cheese is always the answer. I am considering putting more cheese in this, don't you worry. I, it's, it's in the forefront of my mind that I could put additional cheese on this. Oh, listen, do you want to just, hang on. Hang on, listen to this. Smell. 
it smells, it smells like it's getting there. That's all I'll say. Okay, I'm gonna get a good old mix in and I will have another taste. I'll definitely have, well, I like to believe there'll be some filling left over. <laughs> ASMR boiling stream. Every time you put your mic close to something, I worry you'll drop it in. It's okay, I worry that as well. You know what? I'll put a tiny extra bit of this in. That's working. That's working really nicely. Don't overdo it, though. It'd be just my luck to overdo it. In a lot of food, you don't really need, like, a bajillion seasonings. Now, some things absolutely benefit from it, but if you have a really good base of ingredients in something, just season to taste. Like, be very, very conservative with the amount you're putting in. Taste as you go. Some things benefit from less, if that makes sense. So, yeah, if that makes sense. Like, less is more with a lot, a lot, a lot of dishes. I think this might be more or less ready to go. I'll give it a minute. If you drop the mic in, we can taste test it too. You know, that's very kind of you that you give up your time to do that now. Look at that. Bubbling away there like the good old. Look at that. Oh, I just realized I could have had the, the, the camera over a little... A little closer. There you go. It's at a, a bit of an angle, but you can definitely see it. As someone who overseasons their food a lot, I can confirm less is more. It really is, because like, you can put more seasoning in, you can't take it back out. You know, you can't take it back out at all. I'm just gonna... I don't expect the broccoli to be cooked through, but broccoli's kind of, it's still nice when it's a little crunchy, you know? Oh, the bay leaf, yes, yes. Um, would you remind me, actually? Hey Google, set a five minute timer called bay leaf, bay leaf, take out the bay leaf, bay leaf, bay leaf, take out the bay leaf, bay leaf, bay leaf, take out the bay leaf, bay leaf, bay leaf, take out the bay leaf. Okay, a five minute timer called bay leaf, bay leaf, take out the bay leaf, bay leaf, bay leaf, take out the bay leaf, bay leaf, Take out the baby, take out the baby. Take out the baby! Starting now. No, that's... Sure. No! I got it, it's okay. Oh, feck. I've made some mess of this now. The whole place is a mess. It sounds like I'm hiring an assassin for a toddler. Ah, oh, hot. Mm. I do want to let it thicken because I feel like last time it didn't thicken in the oven very much because I mean it's under the pastry and everything so. It needs something else. I mean, I, I say needs, it would benefit from something else is what I actually mean. I think it actually ta it, it tastes like it's getting there. But I feel like it could have something else, you know? I think it actually just needs another pinch of salt. As, as boring as that sounds, like a tiny little bit. I showed my stepdad's dream and now he wants vegetable soup. Get yourself soup, 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 soup. Do it. Treat yourself. Bit of soup. Mustard probably would be the thing. I, I'm really annoyed I didn't think to pick up mustard. There's a stand in Tesco's for French's, um, French's mustard and Frank's hot sauce. Is Frank's hot sauce any good or is it just like that one sauce that's everywhere and everyone's like, ah oh, yeah, it's there. Someone uses it, I don't know who. Because I don't know what the truth is. It's good, oh. Put it on everything. I might try it, because I, I do want a nice hot sauce. Now that I know it's not actually spicy food that I can't handle, it's just the food that the spicy sauce was on, you know? You know what? I'm putting in a little more pilber. Ow. 
a bit vinegary for my taste. I might get a small thing of it and try it, just for the novelty. More tangy than hot. Ooh, I do like a tangy flavor, to be fair. So that might suit me just fine. Who knows? Oh, look at that. I'm gonna have so much fun cleaning up the hobs later. Lads, I think I have it. I think I have it. Until Maxi, hello, lunchtime here in Chile. Can I have some? All right. All right, hang on. Now this is for everyone, so you do have to share, but... Here comes the airplane. Oh no, I'm wrecking the place. Are you a pastry ensconced person or a pastry on top person? I like the pastry on top. Um, I actually think I only have enough pastry to do on top, so... Okay, I'm gonna wait till the timer goes off and I'll call it. It look, you know, it looks fairly respectable. So far. So far. Very important thing that you cannot do in your baking. Always taste as you go if you're cooking. Always taste. If you're seasoning something, if you're making a sauce, a soup, anything like that, taste as you go because then you will not get a terrible, terrible fright, you know? And we, nobody wants a terrible fright in their food. Nobody wants that. Oh, it's so messy. It looks edible, which is... That's all the that matters at the end of the day, that's true. My cat's pawing the screen, so she likes what you're doing. Oh, kill your cat. Tell your cat I say thank you. I'm, I'm honoured. Would you be able to make this but substitute the chicken for corn pieces? Absolutely, yes, I don't see why not. As long as you like do the seasoning the way you'd like. I mean, you can just kind of make this up as you go along. It'd be completely fine with corn pieces or anything like that, to be honest, it should be completely nice. I don't see why not. In fact, I challenge you, if you would, so if you, if you want no pressure, I challenge you, but don't worry about it, um, to make it with corn and see how it turns out because as long as you've got all the flavors going on, it should be great. Why do you think I'm a fat cook? Tasting the tasty bits. But like genuinely, you have to know what's going on. You have to know the flavor. You could also just make this without chicken and just make it vegetables, which would be cheaper, mind you. It would be cheaper. And it would still taste great, I can, Im I can imagine. <gasps> Crossfit pasta, hello, it's okay. We haven't finished up yet, so we still have you for a bit. How are you? There it is. Your Bailey Bailey, take out the Bailey Bailey Bailey, take out the Bailey Bailey Bailey, take out the baby, take out the baby timer is up. All right, take out the baby timer is up. The baby is now the bay leaf. <gasps> Look at the baby. I shouldn't really do this by hand, but I'm a fool, so I'm doing it by hand. It's a boy. <laughs> it's a bay leaf. Oh, I'm so proud. All right. Bonjour. I have returned to this area. Oh, you can see the hoover. Let me close that over. It's just a bit of visual clutter, you know? Um, you're so much braver than I am taking those out. I have, I don't know why. Like, I would never do anything obviously dangerous. I would never do anything like dumbass, dumbass, idiot head, stupid, dangerous. But little things like that where there's just a small chance I could maybe get a bit of hot liquid on me. I don't know, I just do that and I really shouldn't. I grab it kind of with my with my nails, not my fingers, but I don't recommend doing that. Jelly me! Thank you so much for 22 months of your prime. How are you doing? Come in, come in, come in. Are you well? Okay. Okay. We need to start getting ready to throw the pie in. Two hundred Celsius. Oh, this, that's called laurel in Spanish, so aromatic. Oh, oh, I actually do know this. And the reason I know this is because when I was in school, we were on a walk and a teacher of a different class, we stopped at a tree and he explained to us the relation between bay leaves and laurels, like a laurel on your head kind of thing. I'd actually, I forgot I knew that. <laughs> Completely forgot I knew that. Here's our tin. Our tin. I keep calling it a tin. Here's our thing. Dish. Oh, I know things. 
My mom just leaves them and says, watch for bay leaves. Watch for bay leaves. Laurel or Yanny. It was actually both, which is the wildest part. It was both. Okay. Is it gamba time yet? Um, we could start it soon. How, what's the longest? Do you know what? Let me have a look. Uh, ba -ba 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 -ba. I want to see what how long we can make the longest prediction because I could let it just go for a while. We can let it go for half an hour. Hang on. You know, we won't start it yet because the pie has to go in the oven still, so soon. Yeah, a laurel wreath is bay leaves. And I remember that, I remember him standing up on like a small wall and like taking a few leaves off the tree and explaining it to us. It was actually really cool. Good teacher, good lad. Never had him as an actual teacher, but you know. Apparently I was supposed to shred the chicken and not actually cook it all together. Oopsie. Oh no, I was supposed to cook it together. I don't know. What I do know is that I actually feel kind of good about this, I think. I just noticed, what's the vine boom tag for? The vine boom tag is for this. you expected of me. <laughs> right, I can pop that back there. Once this is in the oven, I need to teach you an Irish word and we have a shark close-up, so. Uh, I'm gonna put this here, I'm gonna take out the pastry. Pastry? Oh, there it is, it just slipped down behind, that's fine. Okay, we'll let that sit there for a few minutes. I forgot to take it out of the oven first. With the way of the camera mounted over the hobs, if you were to put a Le Creuset there, would it be a Dutch oven angle? Yes. Yes, it would. Yes, it would. Oh, let's bring Shark back over. Oh, care careful shark. Careful SpongeBob. No! We failed. We fell at the first hurdle. Oh, no! He looks so small. He's so small. Look at him. He looks tiny. He just looks like a little guy. All right, do you know what we're going to do? Ow, my wrist. I don't even know what I did. Do you know what we're going to do? Let's do our fuckle. I'm going to mute. I'll be back in one second. And then we'll do the shark close-up in a minute as well, all right? Do you know what? No, I'm bringing you on, my, on an adventure up the stairs, all right? And then I might cut out. All right, let's go. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Oons, 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 oons. Waka, 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 waka. All right, we're going up the stairs. We're going up the stairs. All right, we're in here. What did I come in here for? The dictionary. Now. I returned. I warned you about the stairs, bro. 
I will never know a day free of sweet bro and hello Jeff Foley. Oh. All right. I have a word and I'm going to teach it to you. I don't think it's one I've taught you before, but it's, it was relevant to what we were talking about early, earlier, if that's anything. I'm going to make sure I'm spelling it right. I'm surprised there's no cutout as well. It's probably because I'm going upstairs rather than a million miles away, you know. I have seen the tome. Have you told them about the, to the tome? The, 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 the tome. It keeps happening. I warned you about the stairs, bro. All right. Elemento. Yes, I am spelling it right. Am I? Yes. Zargon Dragon has a printed copy of the Sweet Bro and Hello Jeff book, which is with a novelty paperclip that smells like, that smells like a paperclip, no, it's shaped like a paperclip. I was gonna say there's also a scratch and sniff of a pizza on somewhere, on some part of it as well. All right, come here. Are we ready for our fuckle? Are we steady and ready? I'm also gonna put the other tunes back on because they're just a little bit zoomier. A little bit. <laughs> the scent of distant paperclip. The focal of the day is Olvariga. That's the word for supermarket. Olvariga. 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 Young at heart, say it back to me. Olvariga. Olvariga. I hope your tax return's going right. Oh, no, not Olive Garden. Olvariga. Oh, Croak, no, we don't, we, we don't give them the language. That's too much power. They, they can't have it. It's too dangerous. You don't give them anything. <laughs> Especially not your time or patience. Olvariga. 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 Now, lads. Are we ready to seal this knowledge into our brains? All right, let's point out a 10 in your own time. That was, that was okay, you know, I mean, I mean, it was all right. It was acceptable. It was grand, you know. Eight out of 10, slunk out of 10, 11 out of 10, book belly flop. It did kind of do a little <gasps> Barrett, hello, good time zone to your good self. How are you doing? Come in, come in, come in. I'm trying really hard to not just eat this out of the pan. Now that's not giving anything away, but. Do you want a bit of broccoli? There is a little too much filling, so I don't feel bad about taking a bit out, but. Here, do look, look at this broccoli. Oh, I have to do like the makeup vlogger thing. It won't focus on the broccoli. Fo oh, 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 I nearly dropped it. Yeah, I nearly dropped it. Oh, here it goes. Got it. I don't know why I spent so much time trying to get the broccoli in focus. I feel it was worth it. I feel it was a good use of my time. Who was that? JQ, well, thank you so much for your prime for 21 months. How are you doing? Come in, come in. Wait, did you just say how? Yo! How? <laughs> we are making a chicken pot pie. We have the... Ooh. We have the filling made. And we're going to assemble the pie in a minute. I just have to make sure this isn't poison. A hot, 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 hot. 
very hot. Aye. Oh. I'm gonna open it. We put in a little poison while we we're gone for flavor. I didn't go anywhere for flavor, but <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry, please forgive me. I think there should be enough in here. And if there's not, wait, is it wide enough? Just. I don't know, actually, to be fair, we have a bit of overhang. Okay, I think it's actually kind of at room temperature already-ish. I don't want it to be any more room temperature than it is because otherwise it'll start to like melt and get weird and it's, don't you be getting weird on me. Don't you be getting weird on me. Do we not have enough to be dealing with without you getting weird on me? Oh no, Jacob, well, you're fine. I do it myself all the time and I feel like some big Egypt, but it happens, it happens. Oh, break it down. Ye do get weird on me regularly. I mean, I wouldn't put up with ye otherwise. I think this is one of them. Untold Maxi, thank you so much for your prime. You're very kind. You're all very kind. Thank you. That's very good of you. I think that's actually the perfect size. Which means we need to start spooning the filling into this. I'm not gonna be skimpy on filling this either. Like we're going for it. I'm gonna bring the, the cam- Oh jeez. I'm gonna bring the camera back over here. Dun, 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 dun. I'm going to need to use a ladle. And I'm gonna be careful. I know that the ladle is metal and this is a non-stick pan. So you just have to be very careful. I do have a serving, I have two, we have two serving spoons, but it's not quite the same, you know? Oh good Lord. Oh my God. I'm actually starting to want- Oh No, I can't lift that. Not with everything in it. Not with one hand, anyway. Just give it, give it a, little, a little bit of encouragement. Don't worry, I'm not scraping this along the end. Once it's lighter, I'm- Actually, we- You know what? We might have the right amount of filling for this pie. I thought we'd have way too much, but... Considering I'm probably using a bigger dish than the recipe expects me to. See, I remembered the word dish that time. We're doing great, lads. Every day a new adventure. I'm just gonna tip it all in. Oh, I dropped a bit. Oh, ho, ho. we actually, that, that's pretty much perfect. I could probably have even gone for a little extra, to be honest. And I'm just going to uh, grab that bit that's kind of congealed. I'm definitely not going to eat it. Even it out a bit. Good lord. I'm just gonna clean this. Um. Nom. Okay, I cleaned that in the sink with a with a sponge and water. And I didn't take a bite out of it, I promise. All right, all right. I have to do this carefully. To move everything out of the way. This is the lazy way to do it, but I mean, like, there's no wrong way to make a pie, unless it is not a pie at all, and that's okay too. It pro it'll probably be fine. Like, I'm not making this from scratch. I hate making pastry from scratch. Actually, that that's not quite true. I just hate making puff pastry from scratch. There's something about it. I just don't enjoy it at all. It's not a very enjoyable experience for me. Zargon says I could find a wrong way. Well, I'll, you know what? Bet, as the kids say. Funny thing is, the kids don't even say that anymore. Yeah. 
Yeah, puff pastry, it's, it's honestly just not worth the hassle. It's so much hassle as well for what you get. I'm just gonna give it a little trim. So much feck around you. The kids that said that are adults now, exactly. Did you know that 2013 is 20 years ago? Let that sink in. It's been standing at the door for days. The pipes are starting to freeze. Please let the sink in. Please, have some compassion. Okay, I'm gonna give it one of these. I've kicked that sink out several times, he's not coming in. Would you not sponsor a sink today? and give five pounds a month for a local sink that has nowhere to go this evening. Most sinks have a loving home, a bathroom or a kitchen to call their own, but this sink, it's still waiting to be let in. Your donation could help thousands of sinks across the country. because the budget we previously had has all gone to Big Charlie's hat. Right, I'm gonna, I need to put some like steam vents or something on this, surely. I feel like it's an awful waste to just not use the rest of this, but I mean like. Wait a second. Give, give me, st stay with me. Stay with me. Do, 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 do. Stay with me. As opposed to going wherever you're going. Stay with me. Fancy leaves. I'm very bad at cutting shapes out of dough is the only thing. Never mind, I'm a literal artist. Actually, it looks a bit like a coffee bean. <laughs> Definitely looks like a coffee bean, but it's going there anyway. All right, I'm making leaves. Who wants a leaf? I'll make you a leaf. All right, that's one leaf, two leaf, three, four leaves. Four, I can do four leaves. I can do that. Five leaves, six leaves, seven leaves. Leave it out. <laughs> I can definitely just cut loads of leaves out of this. Just keep it, just keep it going. Animal Crossing leaf, actually, do you know, I could, I could try out an Animal Crossing leaf. That'd be cute. Actually, I don't, I, no, I might, I might, I might, I might, I might, hang on, hang on. I have to say this impromptu leaf making is definitely going better than I expected. Although the leaves are all different shapes and sizes, but that's fine. Very cute. Um, the, te the oven is still not at temperature, so we have loads of time to do this. One giant leaf for mankind. What about shark kind? Do, 
I mean, on fire prediction, I will. Um, probably as soon as it goes in the oven, to be honest. You can put up a 30 minute prediction. And I want to have a chat with you while we're waiting for it to come out of the oven. The little leaves are kind of cute. I mean, they're not stunning, but it's okay. Lots of nice things in life are not stunning. You know what tasers are? Tasers are. I said nice things. <laughs> I have actually a lot more pastry here than I thought. More leaves. Oh, a skull and pro crossbones would be sick. Oh my god, imagine like a, a fish pie. Okay, how could you make a fish pie into like a pirate pie? And you could put like a little skull and crossbones on it. There must be a way to do that. That'd be cute. I don't have any ideas to tack onto that, but... Rum. Ooh, could you put rum... I know you can obviously cook with wine. I... And, you know, you could put wine in a white sauce. To be honest, you could probably put wine in the sauce of this pie, but... Also, Twink Obliterator, how you doing? Come in, come in, come in. Co coconut wo Oh, coconut milk, actually. That's not a bad idea at all. I hadn't thought of that, somehow. Okay, this is starting to get sticky. It's getting a little bit beyond room temperature, so... How are you still not a temperature oven? Cooking with rum is definitely possible, probably... Yeah, probably not with this recipe, but... Probably with something else. I did make a baking recipe with rum once. I want to do it again this summer. I made um, I made a mojito cake with white white rum and like actual white rum, not just the flavor. And it was really good. It was really nice. like it's one of the nicer cakes I've probably ever made. I still remember it very vividly. Okay. The dough is getting a bit too hard to work with right now, unfortunately. So I can't make many uh, any more shapes. And if I roll this out, it's going to stick to everything. Do you have any idea how tempted I am to just put this in to cook as a blob of dough? This feels really nice to do. <laughs> no, I'm not gonna do it. It'll make a mess. Oh, perfect timing. Well, it's kind of perfect timing. I still need to put egg wash this. Have you washed your eggs today? If you or a loved one needs to wash their eggs, call this number. Egg. And that's going in. Uh, ba -ba 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 -ba. This will do. Tiny. Oh, ow! Why are these drawers? Ow, so heavy. American eggs come pre washed. I don't think I've ever washed an egg in my life. Not deliberately, at least. I do have to poke holes as well. Actually, I might do that in one second. Should I do that before or after the egg wash? Does it matter too much? Um, yeah, I'll do it once the egg is on, because otherwise it gets weird. I probably should have put this on before I put the leaves on, but look, I think that's all going to stick together, and it'll be fine. I have to do this by hand, because I don't have a pastry brush. I do not wish upon anybody else the fate that I am about to inflict upon myself here for the sake of food. But please, know that I do this for the betterment of this dish. Ah! Ah! I hate this. Because ah! if I use any other implement, it's gonna break the pastry. This feels so unnatural. I am dedicated to my craft, exactly. I want it to, I want it to be nice. I want it to be washed with egg. Uh, this is the worst. Actually, no, that's not quite true. I've definitely experienced worse things while baking. Thank you for your service. Thank you. Thank you, Arkhouse. Thank you. I do my best for ye. Ooh, 
these are not going to look very much like leaves at all when, when this is cooked. All right, ah, the worst. Okay, steam holes, steam hole, steam, steam. I'm gonna make this, sure there's a few just so it doesn't get weird. It will get weird anyway. I sure look who doesn't have to get weird. Who doesn't want to get weird every so often? Okay, it's done. It is done. Let me just wash my hands properly. Excuse me. Oh my god, I'm so sorry. All right, that's it. It's going in. It is going in. Everyone say good luck pie. Good luck pie. Ow! I definitely didn't just burn myself. That's actually fine. Hey Google, set a timer for 15 minutes and then I'll turn it. Oh. Well, now all we can do is wait. Mr. Disco, a little praying for the chickens and sacrifice themselves for this wonderful meal. Oh, big appreciation. All right, then now it's, we, then now here, now here, right here, right now, right here, right now. Um. Oh. Prediction is up. You can predict now. Vote now on your phones. Wait, wait. Hang on, hang on. You have to bring it around twice, unfortunately, because it goes a bit like... You can make anything Macarena if you're really dedicated enough to your craft, all right? <laughs> Please get it out of my system. gauge something for a second. I know this is going to sound really silly when I say it. Hands up anyone who does not know what the Macarena is. Coconut pizza, get out of my head. Get out of my head! <laughs> Just out of interest. Jeff, shut up. Shut. Shut the hell your mouth. Because I saw... I saw a TikTok, like... Not a million years ago, and everyone in the comments was like, what the hell is a Macarena? And I thought it was everyone just making a funny joke, being like, haha, it's so funny to pretend, like, it's funny to pretend we don't know this very common thing, but people were like, oh no, no, genuinely, like, I don't, I don't get it. I was like, it's just a little, eh, Macarena, like, that, that's it. That, that's it. <laughs> eh, Macarena. Now don't you worry about my boyfriend, the one whose name is uh, Eating Cheese. I'm such a dirt bird, I need to stop. Hey, my friend. Yeah, the actual song is wild. It's, a, it's just a song about, like, cheating. Bit mad, really. Macarena. Ay. The eye is very important. Ay. It worries me people have forgotten about the Macarena. I was worried, like, I don't actually think people have forgotten about the Macarena. Because it feels like a very, you know, forever thing. Same thing with Bohemian Rhapsody, it's tragic. It's okay, we can educate the people. We can educate the people. Okay, yeah, the, the Pina Colada song is, it's charming, but... 
sad, but kind of comes back to being charming. A story of two people, you know, being imperfect and then learning new things about each other, I suppose. And sure, isn't that life? Not, not really, but like, isn't that life? Isn't it more fun to just go, ah, sure, isn't that life? You know? Another example of when you feel happy, you feel the vibe, when you're sad, you understand the lyrics. That's deep, man. <laughs> do you know what? I'm going to just, I, I will be chatting to you, but I want to just do a little bit of a speed run, throw everything in the dishwasher so that I don't have to do it later. I'm looking forward to MegaCon tomorrow. Um, I went to MegaCon Dublin, excuse me, um, last, oh my God, I'm so sorry. I, I'm making so many stupid, Noises. I'm trying to force a hiccup to stop myself hiccuping. It worked. It worked. I have the power. Do 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 do. I've got the power. Hey, hey. Do 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 do. Uh, I'm gonna have to let this sit for a minute, I think. Don't forget, lads, if you're leaving something to soak in the sink, you do have to go back for it eventually. It doesn't live in the sink now. You have to go back for it someday. You cannot leave it unattended in the sink forever. <laughs> Lies! <laughs> You're gonna have to go back for it. Says me, Berry Weird. Says me. Hello, by the way. Says me. I say this as though I have a problem with someone leaving. Nobody leaves anything in the sink in this house. There's only two of us and we have a dishwasher. Nothing gets left in the sink. Unless I'm doing it. I've definitely left things in the sink, but like, it wasn't the end of the world. It was fine, you know? Not according to my first year. Oh, you, you flatmates. Oh, stop. I. No, wait. Let me do things first. I can, I can chat and do things at the same time. In my first year, I was staying in. Ow! Hot. Halls of some kind. I say that as though I don't know where I was staying. But um, one of my housemates went home for midterm and left an entire pot of pasta on the hob and it went green. A whole pot, like a whole pot of pasta and kind of partially in a colander as well, which always flummoxed me. The whole thing, it was like, it wasn't a small pot, like it was bigger than the pot that, it was bigger than, I'm sorry, that's a holy mess. It's bigger than that pot, it was a tall yolk, you know? Disgusting. Okay, we still have a little bit of milk for tea later on, excellent. It's all working out, lads. It's all coming up Millhouse. Do, 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 what is this from? It's so catchy. I don't know. That's their mold mildew experiment. Maybe it was. Maybe I just didn't understand. My leg. My leg. Oh, it's from We Play. Very good. Very good. I did not know. No flatmate once is that as well. I threw out the pan, including content. I don't blame you. Like, I really, really don't. I. I couldn't be dealing with it, lads. I couldn't be dealing with it again. I don't know how I ever... I, I did... You know, I do know how I dealt with it because I spent most of my time in my room. Or somewhere else entirely. To be honest, I actually spent a lot of time in college because I just didn't like being in my accommodation. But then it got better after that, so it was fine. Okay, I'm gonna have to leave. I don't think that's gonna fit in for this load of the dishwasher, but that's fine. It's all right, we'll get it later. We play bubble game. Oh, we do. I actually don't know it. Oh, here, Kuro says the song from We Play mini game where you have to match the pose, the miss, me's to the shapes of the bubbles. Oh, I think I've seen that. I've never, I've never played it. I haven't played a lot of the Wii stuff, but it rings a bell. Yes. 
excuse me, I'm so stiffly. Bards has had a great roommate, but Jessica's used to hold Bible studies. Late, late night impromptu Bible studies. Wait, why won't this go? There we go. Late night impromptu Bible study is... <laughs> yeah, definitely a euphemism. Oh God, Jeff, I've... that's reminded me of something I won't mention on stream. Nothing personal, just something that's maybe not stream appropriate. Which now I realize is going to make it much more interesting, but it's not that interesting. I'm going to move some bits and bobs. Oh, recycling bins here. Oi, 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 oi. Christoph, hello, how are you doing? Come in, come in, come in. Are you well? What am I looking for? Oh, that's enough cleanup for now. I could actually throw on the dishwasher now. I mean, it's not it's not very loud. I could just throw it on and have it be done sooner, you know? I'll do that, feck it. There's quite a lot in there. Do, 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 do. Jeff, please. We can't set a precedent. No, Jeff! How'd you know what I was talking about? How'd you know what I was talking about? Nixter, hello! How are you doing? Come in, come in, come in. Listen to the words of the dishwasher. Thank you. Thank you for understanding. In uni once I moved to a new apartment over the summer while everyone else who lived there was away. My first time meeting them, I had to come home from an 18 hour shift to all my new flatmates sitting in the kitchen. I could only think to say, hi, I'm far away. I live in the basement. I need to go shower. <laughs> That's very good. Oh dear. All right, I'm gonna wipe down the surface. One, two, three, go. I'm got to work around everything. It's okay, I give this a proper wipe down again afterwards, so. I just need it to be serviceable for now. One, two, three, go! Give this a proper scrub later on. This will do fine for now. Do, 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 do. Oh, do you know I still owe you a shark close up? Hang on, hang on. I owe you a shark close up from earlier on. Here he comes, here he comes, here he comes, here he comes. Oi, 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 Aha. Oi, 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 oi. He's gonna do it. How'd you do it? How'd you make that noise? I don't know how he does it either. I don't ask questions. Fireflower says I've been squankied. 
Every day is a learning day. Every day is an opportunity for new experiences. That pie looks like a pie. It looks like a pie. A pie pie pie. A pie pie pie. Endeavor, hello! I'm testing student accommodation and um, Wi-Fi. Hello everyone, I return. The PhD starts the week after next. Yes! Get up for Endeavor. Hey, 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 PhD, PhD, study, study, study. I'm delighted for you. I really, really hope it goes very well for you. Oh, it was just like yesterday you were applying for it. Guess it is Pi Day Friday. Pi Day Friday, Holiday Inn. It really is. Thank you so much for the bits, Never. You're very kind, very generous. Thank you. Thank you. Come here to me now. Come here. Come here. Come here. There is a new video going up this evening. This evening. Now. It is, good God almighty, I only just sat down, hang on. I'm just gonna give it a little, stop that. I'm gonna give it a little twist. Oh, come on, baby. Come along, baby. Twist and show. Ah! Twist and show. Hey Google, set a timer for 15 minutes. I'm fine. I'm fine. I just got. I didn't even get burned. I just kind of. You know when it, it gets just barely close enough to your skin to be like almost touching, but it didn't actually make contact. I just kind of went. Ah! Okay, come here. New YouTube video tonight. By the way, if you're not already on YouTube, I give a be bop, beep, bop, bop, bop. There, there, there it is. Cheese Quest Part Two. However, I want to brainstorm something with you. So, I made cheese. I want the Cheese Quest highlights. Like I made them with ye in mind. There's something like for the community, it wasn't, there was no thought put into discovery, engagement, any of that. I just wanted you to see it and have a nice time. However, now that's been up for a while. Can anyone think of a better title for the Cheese Quest videos? Because you've been incredibly good at, at brainstorming video titles, like really good. You have a knack for it and I don't know how. Let's see. Cheese video. Part two is going up tonight. I haven't made a thumbnail yet, but I'll get on it. I'll get on it. Admittedly, I still haven't watched Cheese Quest part one yet. Oh, that's grand. I mean, it's not going anywhere. It's not going anywhere. It's there whenever you're ready. Cheese Quest part two with Attack of the Gouda. So I'm thinking of like changing the title of the first video, which I know seems mad, but it's something that has worked occasionally. Just, you know, you know. Exactly, Debra, you were there live. I mean, it's fine. 202 ways to lose my mind on Skyrim. Hang on, 202 ways. Because now, as well, the thumbnail will stay the same. The thumbnail has Cheese Quest written on it. Lose my mind in Skyrim. Endeavor, we'll see you soon. Go, 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 go. Be good to yourself. And very, very excited for you. Very, very excited for you. Oh, goodness. I'm not feeling so good. Are any of us really feeling good? I hope so. I hope we're all actually feeling quite good. Transformed milk journey. That sounds like I'm making cheese. And making cheese is a very smelly process. I, I remember one of the cheese quests, someone was asking if we'd be interested in maybe making cheese on stream. And it stinks. It stinks. I'm not doing it. It stinks. I'm not making cheese in my house. No way. Mm -mm. Not doing it. Can't be done. I refuse. I just, I flat out refuse, I'm not doing it. The video is going up in just over an hour. I didn't really time my day very well. Not that I ever do now, mind you. Not that I ever do. What about the old house? In the old house, I mean, I'm proud of them. Um, I mean, you could go with, yeah, I was thinking like finding every single cheese in Skyrim feels too generic. Like, if I look that up, like, do you know what? I'm just gonna, you know what? Let's do some market research. If I go to YouTube right now, and let's see how to go. Finding. Wait, no, my, my keyboard just split that into three words. Finding every cheese in Skyrim. <laughs> Do you know what the first video is that comes up? <laughs> 
So I can't really test this myself. I'm pretty sure it's biased. That can't be right. Surely that, that can't be right because there are, there are, there is a video. There's like a PewDiePie video from a couple of, a while back of collecting every cheese in Skyrim. And I feel like that should probably be the first result. Not that search engines, I mean, anything make any difference. Yeah, actually, yeah, private window, big thinking. YouTube. God, using YouTube signed out is such a painful experience, which I hate. YouTube history is off. Yeah, that's the point. Finding every cheese in Skyrim. You gotta be kidding me. It's the second, it's the second result. This is in an, an incognito like private window. It is the second result. Maybe we don't need to get it. Maybe we don't need to improve it. Maybe it's actually fine the way it is. <laughs> to be fair, actually, I hadn't looked in it in a while. It has nearly 5,000 views in a relatively short space of time. Maybe, you know what? Scrap it. Let's leave it the way it is. And I'll, I'll think of something to build on that for with the second video. Now, I have another question for you. So I'm, on, I'm trying to get YouTube stuff more regular. Oh, wait, hang on. Jeff's suggestion? There wasn't enough cheese in Skyrim, so I fixed it. Hang on. That could be good for part two. Enough. Oh my god, I can't write. Cheese in Skyrim. So I fixed it. All right. I've got ideas here. Now, for a moment, I know this is mad. Forget about Cheese Quest. Not forever. Not forever. Don't forget about it forever. But... I want to do more regular uploads to YouTube. We're having a little, a little chat. Do you remember the Slay the Princess stream? I actually thought I'd lost the VOD to that. Thankfully I haven't, it's on the VOD channel. You remember that, right? That was great fun. Who here enjoyed Slay the Princess? I enjoyed it, I thought it was great fun. What I didn't realize is that the VOD for that has like over 3000 views. The VOD channel gets like, 50 100 views per video at most so i was thinking of backtracking and doing a highlight of that because i actually had it in my head and then i ended up i, I was so busy and i was so sick in the run up to christmas again but who would be interested in a slay the princess highlight <laughs> i didn't enjoy it at all i also i wasn't here for it it was great it was so good all right i might run that by chloe like, and people are really nice as well. There's comments on it and people are like, this is this is a fantastic play, like long play or playthrough of this game. I was like, oh, someone said it's an underrated playthrough. I was like, huh? They were very nice. Very, very nice. Yeah, slay the internet connection. That's the one, Mulk. I'm so glad we did play it in the end. Because I, I'll be honest, I was, I was so moody about the internet thing. Like I, I will, I, I, it's embarrassing to admit, but it's also very funny to admit. I was so angry about that that night. Like I'm so angry. Angry. <laughs> it was rubbish. I'm joking. That's okay, my guess. By the way, um, before I forget, there is still time to predict with your channel points whether or not the pie will be good. You can. Vote now on your phones. And Mason Underhill so far, I don't know. I haven't taken it out of the oven yet. I'm scared. <laughs> I'm scared. Um, Spice Fair says, on mine, the voyage is third. I think bumped Doug Doug up because I don't watch you a ton on YouTube unless I miss something. That's all right. That's all right. That's, that's, it's interesting to know though. Oh, Wavis says, this weekend I'm headed down to the metro area to cheer up a friend who's been having a stressful time. We just discovered a tiny music venue basically next door to her and we're going to watch some flamenco. <gasps> flamenco arts, that's so cool. Ooh. Oh, let us know how it goes. Like, obviously don't be telling us where it is or anything. I'll keep your privacy, but tell us how you get on. That sounds so cool. Oh my goodness. And very good of you to go and help cheer up your friend. That means a lot. That's so good. I want to see flamenco artists. I'd more, love more regular YouTube highlights. I'm working on it. I used, I, I had like a good run of every second week and I'd like to get into that again because, um, 
I didn't, I actually completely forgot to say this to you, lads, but um, do you know what happened the other day? And I didn't know, actually, I don't know when it happened. Um, do you know what happened? What the what what what? Didn't we only hit ten thousand there like a few minutes ago? And I was saying recently, like, oh, it would be very cool to hit twenty thousand this year. So we'll we'll see, we'll see if I if I if I get it together, if I get it together, it's very cool. <laughs> I looked away from my phone and thought we had a birthday. It's all right. 14,000? Wow. Way to tell those six people they don't matter. Jeff, thank you for the bits. Lemon and Crime, thank you for gifting 14 subs to Overthrower, Atomic Weapon, Kevity Search, Charred Rose, Destroyed, Extreme Tribe, Ben Fabrique, DIY, Joe Wunf, Malachi Corey, Gay Bones, on oh, me too, um, JB Con, Robot Craft, Faust Mothy, and TPA Art, oh my god. Lemon of crime. Thank you so much. Oh my god. 14 subs for 14k. Oh jeez, thank you so much. Seriously. Oh my god. Well over the goal. Jeez, I'll have to think of something else to do at this point. I'll make it very good. I'll make it a very good lesson. Thank you. Lads, more good eggs. More ag 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 aggressive good eggs? No, additional. Additional is the word I was looking for. Lads! Ferret, thank you for gifting five subs to Man Without Hats, Vel, Momo Space, Liam MLP, and Tack Gecko. I'm, I meant the, I meant the emote. I meant the emote. <laughs> Ed, hello. Hey, hey, hey. She, oh, lads, you're mad. Thank you so, so much. Let's go again. Let's go again. Ooh, thank you. Oh, there, there goes the dishwasher. Ah, give me a second. Sorry. Ah! Okay, I'm fine now. I'm fine. Gardarachi, thank you for gifting us up to Amelia Formula One. Formula One. And to be absolutely honest, it was just me, uh, it was just driving me mental not having a round number of gifts, so it seemed like a good excuse. Thank you, and seriously, Lemon, thank you so, so much. You were so good. So, you're all so good. All of you, for the record. And that's true. That's very true. How's the spy going? Oh. That was my toe. That was my toe. Is your fridge running? Oh, you better go catch it. <laughs> I hope it's running. I've got some milk in there. Lads, you're three good. I'm not sure where the cooling tray is. I don't expect the pie to cool on the cooling tray, but I'd like it to just have something to sit on, you know? Oh, lads. It's nonstop. Where? I don't know where the rack is. I'll figure it out soon, it'll be fine. Excuse me. Um, Jam says, has anyone here ever tried making pie with cream of potato? My family does that a lot, and only recently I found out that's not the norm. I mean, cream of potato, I'm so sorry, I, I'm, <laughs> I'm, I'm still a bit in shock from everything today, oh my God, but um, Cream potato, I could see it would be very good to thicken something up, so I don't see why not. How does the pie even get identified as a pot pie? I'll tell you when you're older. Where did I put it? I do have, there's a cooling rack, like a little, it's strong enough to withstand the weight of that. I might just rob this one from the grill. That's, that's hot. In the wise words of Paris Hilton, that's hot. Um, I need a feckin' Wait. one of these. I just, I just need to pick it up and transfer it and let it cool for a minute. There we go, there we go. Lawrence Lovely, hello, it's snow today and I remember the old jam and glass cake cooking screen. It was such a fun. Oh my God. I. Was that where I was stirring the jam in the jar and I 
accidentally did that and poked a hole in the bottom of the jam jar. I had actually forgotten about that. I haven't thought about that in ages. The clip still exists, I'm almost sure. Oldie but a goodie indeed. I'm trying to remember, jeez, that was like, that must have been the summer of 2020 or so. Actually, it's probably earlier. I'll find it, I'll find it and put it in Discord. Someone remind me. Uh, you don't have to remind me, I'll remind myself. I'll remind myself. And if I don't remind myself, sure, that could be fine. No, it wasn't your brother, it was a different different jam family, no relation. Last chance to vote on your phones on whether or not the pie is going to be good. Last chance. Do, 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 do. Okay, this is cool enough to put over here now. I hope this can withstand the weight of that thing. I hope, I hope. But geez, yeah, I remember that. Um, it was a good cake all the same, even though it, you know, could have had glass in it. It didn't have glass in it. I don't remember if we did end up using that jar of jam in the end. Is the pie a lie? Depends on whether or not it's yai. And I don't know. <laughs> sure it'd be grand, you know? Sure what's a little bit of glass eaten between friends? Don't eat glass. Just go back to the shops and put put it all on stupendous. Wait, what, what were the options? Stup I just missed the options. I actually didn't look at all. Can we get some appreciation for the mods? Right now, this minute, for doing the things. I don't know if you're ready to see this. I don't know if you're ready. I simply do not know. That is a pie pie pie. The little leaves are kind of cute on it actually. Okay, that's going to need to cool before I can even touch it. Cake, I told you to stop putting bubble wrap in your pies, but it's so nice. It gives such a crackly uh, thing. Hey Google, set a timer for 10 minutes. I'm not touching that before it stops. Got it. 10 minutes. And that's you know, hang on, I'm just going to, uh, let me just, let's see if I can just. I'm just gonna. I'm just gonna... Hmm. Queen Bovine, hello. is that Queen of Cows? Did you change your name or do we have someone else? Hello. When will you <laughs> When will you learn? Oh, please, oh no, wait, I've lost my music. I feel like a fool. It won't load. No. Please. Please, I beg of you, this is cruel and unusual. Ah, browser's blank. It looks... You know it looks... It looks like a pie. It definitely looks like a pie. 
I don't really have a good way to show you this. Actually, no, that's a lie. That's a pie lie. That's a lie about the pie. Uh, this can go back in the sink. I can put it over here. Now, this is probably not the best camera quality to see it, but... Also, yes, the stove is a mess. Why did I do that? Stove's a mess, but let's just, uh, let me just. Would you take a chance and try the pie? It's got a nice color on it, I have to say. Like, a good respectable color on it. I could have gone for bigger leaves if I had more pastry, but I... I can't do anything with that until it's cooled down. I'll give you a close up and we'll do the whole fanfare when I have like a slice of it on a plate and it's going to be a holy mess. But with any luck, it'll be a delicious mess. Oh, I hope it'll be a delicious mess. The Tokyo National Museum has a Pompeii exhibit right now and they have plushes of the carbonized Pompeii bread and the dog from the Pompeii mosaic. Really cute, oh my god. Oh, pie looks scrumptious, thank you. It's looking pretty good. It's looking pretty, pretty good. Oh, lads. I've, I've so, I have exciting things to tell you and I can't tell you anything. It's, I think that's why I keep sitting here like, I have things to tell you and I can't tell you yet. And I'm just like, Cool stuff, probably promise. Good stuff, cool stuff, very nice stuff. I'm on my way saving a slice. I'll, I'll see what I can do. I can't guarantee that I won't just eat it right now. That Popeye is the vibe of the fish pie from Kiki and this is the biggest compliment I can give. Thank you, thank you. Is that pie enormous or are you tiny? Uh, yeah, more or less. <laughs> to be honest, how are you doing? Are you well? Beep pop, beep pop, beep pop, beep pop. Jeff, very exciting things, can't tell you anything, but all in good time. I'm glad that the steam started venting out of here because the little holes I cut in the middle just like filled back up as soon as it went in the oven, I'd say. The pastry was just a little too soft. CyberDW says, just when able to join, seems like it went well. Oh, I haven't tasted it yet. It could be poison. It could be poison. It might be disgusting. And she look. You know, it could happen. It could happen. It could. I don't know. I don't know. Um, it's good. I'm sn or I'm good. It's snowing here. We made a fire and I'm having a soup and sandwich lunch. Oh, what soup? What sandwich? I have to know. I'm so no. I love a good soup and sandwich combo. So good. What's your favorite soup and sandwich combo? But it can't be tomato and toasted cheese because that is just so good. What's your next best favorite one? Next best favorite one. It could send cake to the shadow realm. I'm in the shadow realm every night that I stay up past midnight, so. Just a regular evening for me, really. Oh dear. It does look pretty good. But I don't know. I can't, I'm not touching it. Not touching it. Turkey and Harvati on rose bre rosemary bread toast. Oh, so good. Rama is a good soup. It's not a soup you have a sandwich with, but it is a good soup. I'm convinced soup in winter solves all problems. Honestly, like all we need, all we should be expected to do in winter is have nice food, stay cozy, comfy, and then venture out if we so want, you know? Ham sandwich and tomato soup or cream cheese sandwich and chicken soup. Oh, I always forget how good like creamy chicken soup is. That sounds incredible. I made green veg soup and went butter toast with it. Oh yeah. It's like just having one big crouton with your soup. It's good. Cross the pasta says, I don't like soup, it tastes lovely, but I've sent, or it sure it tastes lovely, but I've sensory issues, and my hot chocolate is technically soup. I'll give you, you know, I'll give you points. I'll give you points. Broccoli cheddar with brisket on multi grain. Oh, stop. Ban me. Oh, soup says, now we are talking. Ban me with pho broth. I, sorry, I don't know why I wobbled at the end of that word. I was trying to pronounce it two different ways at the, at the same time, and I, I panicked. Um, ban me is so good. I haven't had ban me in ages. Rare bit with tomato soup. Oh, it's so good. It's so good. It's so good. Please don't ban me. I won't. 
Not today, I won't. No, I won't. Oh, goodness. I... I would love to try making pho, but the only thing that stops me from making ramen and pho on stream is just the time you need to put in to make a really good broth, you know? Found that there's a new, there's a band new place between Morrison's and my new place. Ooh! We'll, we'll all have to check it out. Pumpkin soup and garlic butter baguette. Oh, yes. Speaking of pho, there's a restaurant where my dad lives called Fucking Delicious. That's very good. Oh, it's like there used to be a, there was a restaurant on the Keys, along Bachelor's Key. It was a Bachelor's Walk. Bachelor's Walk, that part of the Keys in Dublin. And it was called Bachelor's Walk. It was, I think it's since closed down, but what a perfect name. Wave says local ramen shop has a cow soy ramen and it's phenomenal. It uses coconut milk as its base and it's rich and delicious. Oh, I haven't made anything with coconut milk in ages. It's such a good, like, it's such a good base. It's such a good base, 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 base. I'd love to try making another, uh, a tikka masala or a korma or something like that on stream because do you remember we made a korma and it actually turned out fairly all right considering i'd never made one before chirpa says i have a traditional ramen cookbook and it legit takes two three days yeah from ingredients to finished ramen you have to take your time with the broth you can taste immediately if you have ramen and you've had nice ramen you can taste straight away if someone has half-assed the broth and sure what's the point you might as well have a cup of soup you know i used to go to a banh mi place don't know what i did they decided to ban me Oh, when we were over visiting Zargon over in Glasgow for New Year's, we went in to a place and we all got something and McDara got pho and I tasted the broth. It was the first time I'd ever had pho in any sh way, shape or form. And it tasted phenomenal. It's like one of the nicest broths I've ever tasted in my life. Ever, ever. So good. Like delicious, nutritious. You know when you taste something and you you can like feel the warmth of it all the way through your body. I know that's quite dramatic, but that's what it felt like. Hey Google, how long's after my timer? I'm hungry. With one minute and thirty-one seconds left. One minute and thirty-one seconds remaining. And then we can taste it. It's still going to be piping hot. Piping hot. But then I can show it to you as well, which is the big thing, you know? Actually, Ren says, would love to see you try making some Welsh dishes for St. David's Day. Oh, it's on Friday. When is St. David's Day? Hey, Google. When's St. David's Day this year? Sorry, I don't understand. Google hates Welsh people. Sorry. I'll have words with her. I'll have words. First of March. I might put that on the calendar. Hang on, I'm going to write it here. Oh, same, sorry, same day every year. Uh... March. Let's day. Welsh food. Hey Google, what date is Pancake Tuesday this year? Shrove Tuesday, but you know. Shrove Tuesday will be on Tuesday, the 13th of February. Tuesday, really? Good to know, 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 good to know. Yeah, and can you believe Show Tuesday is on Tuesday this year? Crazy. <gasps> it is time. It's time. It's time. Tuesday should be on Saturday next year. I hear they're thinking of cancelling a few Saturdays here and there due to lack of interest, but when actually where is St. Swithin's Day? Wait, what is when is St. Swithin's Day? Because that's something I've heard my mum mention. Oh, wait, wait, forget the music. Now I can't take any credit for the pastry, but Stephen Wallaby, 
thank you so much for your prime. You're very kind. I thank you, thank you. It's pretty crunchy. Now, it's going to be messy to plate up because it's essentially just... Listen, do you know the way we're going to do this? As mad as it sounds. Give me that. I'm going to hold this here. <laughs> this is the only way to do this. I need to just, like, put the filling on the plate and then put the lid on top. Otherwise, it just looks like nothing. It is still... Actually, it's a lot more solid looking than last time, which is good. That is a good thing. That is a solidly uh, good thing. All right. Lots. Are you ready for your close-up? Apparently my phone is not. Apparently my phone is still not ready. Are you ready to witness the pie? The pie pie pie. It kind, you know what, public imposter, it is just like a thick baked soup with pastry on top, so how, you can't go too far wrong, you know, well. Here it comes. Are you ready? It's messy. It's so messy and it's so beautiful. Hands up who wants some. Here, take, take a bite quick. That's pretty respectable looking, I have to say. I'm gonna just take a quick picture of the slice on the on the plate. I keep forgetting to take pictures of food properly, so I'm taking multiple. My people, among us, yes. 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 Who was that? <laughs> Never thank you for the bits. Oh. That's pretty respectable looking, lads, I have to say. That is one of the more photogenic things I've made in a while. I know I'm out of focus. You're out of focus. I'm out of time. There we go. Now I'm in focus. All right. I think it's just about cool enough to do a taste test. I don't know whether to approach this with a fork or a spoon, to be quite honest. I'll go for fork. Easy, fancy fork. Okay, I'm in focus. All right, lads. Here we go. You ready? Hmm. Hmm. Hot. Oh, I burn myself. Hmm. The pie attacked me. Hmm. 
Moscosmos mm -hmm. says optical illusion alert. If I hadn't seen the casserole dish earlier, I would say it looks circular rather than oval right now. It does look a bit roundy, which is the correct term. It's not circular, it's roundy. <laughs> I'm joking. It does look, I can see exactly what you mean. It's not shepherd's pie, it's chicken pot pie with pastry on top. Here lads, do you want a little, here, I'll get you a forkful. Here, we're gonna get everything on the fork together, all right? We're gonna get a bit of carrot, we're gonna get a bit of chicken, we're gonna get, oh feck, I'm after killing the broccoli. A bit of, bit of, a bit of, bro a bit of broccoli, a bit of feckin' bro- Here comes the airplane! Oh feck. Nyeom! You know, I don't know yet. I, you have to take your time with these decisions, you know? It could go anyway. Hmm. It could go any way at all. I don't know. Hard to call. Any way at all. Hard to call. I'm comparing it, so this is the part that's gonna make you sweat. I am comparing it to other pies I have made in the past. To see how it shapes up. Hmm. Crossfit pasta, my chat's working, I refused to update for ages. I had that problem the other day with Twitch, actually. It's all right, we got you. Mm. You know, we have to re we have to finish the slice and then make a decision, okay? You can't do these things by halves. Neverix, thank you so much for the bits. You're very kind. I thank you. I thank you very, very much. Hmm. I have to make my decision soon. Dolan says you're probably gonna need a second helping to be sure of the taste. Yeah, we have to be sure to be sure, you know? That is the best chicken pie I have ever made. And I am not joking and I'm not, I'm not, I'm not making it up. That is actually the best chicken pie I've ever, ever made. No joke. That is, that's really good. That slaps, like honest to God, that's so good. That's so good. Do you know what I might start doing? 
I might start rewriting recipes where I just go off recipe. Would you be interested in that? Because I did loads of extra stuff to this that's not in the recipe I linked. And it's really good. I put in, um, we put in a little bit of mixed herbs. We put in some nutmeg. Um, we did use the stock cubes. I put in salt and pepper while I was frying the chicken up and then when we had the sauce as well. I did two taste. And I put in extra vegetables and stuff. I see, I guess you're not saving me a slice. I mean, if you get here fast enough, maybe. It is really good. I shouldn't be picking it out of the tin to eat it, but. And the bit of cheese. I don't think the cheese is in the recipe either. Cake cookbook when? Someday, maybe. Someday. It's just, let me explain to you why it's so good, because I haven't told you why it is so good. Okay, one, one more spoon of filling. I'll tell you why it's so good right now. The consistency of the filling is really good. I want to say perfect. Maybe it could be a little thicker. I feel like in, then you're starting to get into like slightly dry territory. It is really, really good. It's a very thick sauce. Like you can tell because it holds shape for the most part for like a, a good 30 seconds when you take a scoop out of the tin, which means it's not too runny. You don't want a runny pie well maybe you do and that's okay like a gravy pie and no, that's a whole different ball game the broccoli doesn't overpower everything else broccoli can be a strong flavor if you put it in with a load of other things it is really well balanced because i didn't fry it up with the other vegetables i put it in later into the sauce um the leek adds a really nice like mellow onion flavor like they're all very gentle flavors but they work together really well and it's still hot it's a good point it is still hot it's it's creamy, it's comforting. It's really good. It's, I'm just like, I don't... Serving spoon. It's so good. It really is, it's just... Great vegetable flavor. Loving it. Loving it, loving it, loving it. Put a leek in your pie. Put a broccoli in your pie. Put extra bits of vegetables into your pie and you won't regret it, I promise. Oh, all right. Who is gonna try making the pie? I couldn't, you know what? I'll write this down on the thing. I'm gonna rewrite the recipe and put it in Discord for you. Uh, rewrite pie recipe. I'll put it in Discord for you. Are you gonna thump the pie yet? No, I can't have a pie fight. I'm trying the pie, let me know you get on, and don't be afraid to put your own spin on it. Like, a recipe like this, you can kind of just feck around with it, put your own stuff in it. That's fine, that's grand. That's grand. Now that's, I do have to ask you, very important. Oh, um, oh, Mosh, Mosh Cosmos says, to make vegetarian, would you omit chicken and sub something else in, maybe mushrooms? I would say you could get away without putting something else in, but mushrooms in this would be unreal. The only reason I didn't put mushrooms in is because McDara's not too fond of mushrooms and I feel good enough going on anyway, but mushrooms would slap in this. So good. Like it's exactly the nice kind of creamy sauce that would complement mushrooms really well. I highly recommend. If you make it, try something in mushrooms and you can probably just use like a nice vegetable stock and then just season the, the sauce to taste. Like you can't go wrong. Mushrooms are so good. Just like cube them up and throw them in and you're living, lads, you're living. Um, Ed says, I'll make it for my parents and take pictures, thank you. Thank you, can you send some to Cork? I'll, I'll throw it down to you, <laughs> to me best. Lads, I have to ask you something very important. But first, Baffled always says you had enough going on, there wasn't mushroom. Lads, I have to ask you something very important. Have we had a very nice Friday on this day, today, today, on the day today, no, we're not finished yet, I need to chat to you for a minute, I need to chat to you. Hey, 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 I have a couple of headlines, a couple of headlines before we go. I, this feels like a Nintendo Direct, but first, some headlines. <laughs> Tomorrow, I'm going to be at Megacon. They kindly gave me a creator pass, so I'm gonna be there. I will be with friends, so I won't be like, we're not doing like a meetup or anything, but if you see me, if you think you see me, it's probably me, say hi, or, or don't, that's okay too. I, I don't have any like sticker sheets, I don't have anything to give out, I, I'm completely out at the minute, and I forgot. Uh, yeah, I'm, also, um, Silk Song is releasing tomorrow. No, not really, not really. I shouldn't play with your emotions like that. Um, yeah, so that's happening. I, I mo Monday, yes, Monday we're continuing Turbinate Boy Robs a Bank. Um, Saturday, tomorrow, 
in the evening, we're going to be watching Lord of the Rings Two Towers. Now we have a lot of people, a lot, a lot of people who are newly subscribed. So please, if you're not already in Discord, go over immediately. Make sure you have your Twitch and Discord accounts linked in your account settings, and then you can get into the super secret behind the scenes areas and into the Minecraft server and into the watch along things. And it's very good fun, very, very good fun. Um, Another thing, there's a YouTube video going up in like half an hour. So if you're not already over on YouTube, here's the link to YouTube. Beep, 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 beep. Cake, say hi to Denethor tomorrow. I will, I will. I hope I can make it back in time for, for a bit of the watch along. Fingers crossed, fingers crossed. Please go over to YouTube. It's part two of Cheese Quest is going up this evening. It'll be a long one. It'll be good fun. Please let me know what you think. As always, uh, like and subscribe. And uh, just, you know, leave a little comment. Let me know how you think, what you think about it. And one more thing before I go. I am trying to get nominated for a streamer award. I will just mention it every so often, but I'm trying to get nominated for a streamer award for the Rising Star category, which is streamers who are under a thousand average viewers. Could you nominate me, please and thank you? No pressure. It, the deadline is today. The dead. I didn't know the deadline was today. The deadline is today. Um, so if we don't make it, it's fine, but I would appreciate it very, very much. Very, very much. I did not know the deadline was today. I feel like, I don't know if I really stand a chance, but you know, that's there, that's there. And it, it's no big deal if you don't get nominated, it's grand. We've, we have other things to be doing as well, that's fine, that's fine. All right, all right, I think that's everything I meant to tell you. I think that's everything. Please keep an eye out for the video in about half an hour's time. I'm going to see, I'm going to see who's online that I can leave you with. Uh, oh, Roddy is a good one. If you're voting, nominate ca cake for only one category. Multiple categories could be flagged as spam and your nomination won't be counted. And please don't, please don't get flagged for spam. That'd be an awful shame. It'd be an awful waste, really, an awful shame. But I'm gonna, I'm gonna just throw it there. Best Minecraft and best international. Thank you, thank you. Um, I, I don't know, but I, you know, the way I see it, no harm. I don't tend to put myself up for this kind of stuff. So feck it, no harm. And at worst, nothing comes of it. And we had a great laugh anyway. Nothing lost. Rui, where am I going to leave you? I know where I'm going to leave you. Sure, don't I know? And you know yourself. Do you know yourself? When you know, you know. And if you don't know, sure, like, I'll tell you. Someone else you should nominate if you were nominating anybody for awards and such. We are going over to Queen Clover. Please do not spoil the raid. Or... I will fight you immediately, and so will Dave, and so, well, Shark won't, but he'll watch, you know, he'll watch. Lads, thank you so much for coming along today. You should also nominate Queen Clover ET for best under 100 average viewers. You should do it. She deserves it. She's very good. She's very, very good. Please be very, very good to yourselves. Be very, very good to each other. And lads, I will see you on Monday! If you left us with Duck Duck yesterday, we all got banned. Hooray! <laughs> thank you for the bits, thank you for the bits, thank you so much for everything. To, uh, thank you, oh my god, for all the subs, all the bits, for the mass pipe trade, for being here while I make some pie, 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 pie. Thank you so much, let me know if you make the pie. I'll write up the recipe for you, and please, don't forget that the video is going up in half an hour. Goodbye!